Hello there models, I am Jensen and welcome back to Amnesia Custom Stories. Today I'm going to be playing the Followed by Death Trilogy by JMF Storm. It's literally right here, I'm reading off the screen. You escape the unimaginable horror and find yourself in the old Harnan's castle. You must find Francis Harmon, the castle owner, to find out what's after you. Okay, I'm going to fire into it. Without further ado. So, I still don't know anything about these custom stories. I'm still going in completely blind. Which I think is probably the best way to enjoy these stories, given the, uh, the enormous amounts of jump scares that I've gotten out of them so far. The fire fades, and we are turning. Soon, there will be no one left tending to the flames. Well, that sucks. Don't look at me. After the war between the different noble families and the Brimswood provinces had been resolved in the year 1887, pestilence and famine started to slowly plague the land. What about war and death? The rumours concerning the recent kidnappings of the good folk around the town had turned out to be true. That should have been the last warning sign for me to get me and my wife far away from this place. Prologue! Okay. So it does seem like this is actually going to be a full trilogy. I thought this was just going to be the final chapter of the other two that we've already played. No, Damn, what is going on? Hello? Okay, what do we start with? No inventory, that's good to know. Nothing over here. What if we toss the chair around? Do we even start ransacking yet? Is this something we do? Maybe not. I'm not even gonna bother check those drawers. There's been nothing in them so far. Let's uh, get something to defend ourselves, like this, um, this sack of... I don't know. Potatoes, I think. Judging by the sound that it makes when it hits the wall. Hello? Oh no. Oh, this is really bad, actually. Oh, this is terrible. Well, that looks like a significantly better weapon. Can we take it? Good. Uh, what is in here? Are we supposed to look in here? The outskirts. Why would we go to the outskirts if we're supposed to be going down? I'm taking the shovel. Let's use it as some kind of weapon. Okay. What is happening? Face me! Oh, that's a big guy. What's he doing? He's coming. Okay, I'm gapping it. I'm so slow. Why am I not running? My wife was dead and that monster was after me. I had to escape and try and find help. This one kicked off real hard already, like straight out of the bat. Okay, he gave me a little path to look at. I want to see the rest of this place first, like this well. Okay, we're still actually surprisingly slow. Very sluggish. I suspect that we are maybe in our 110s. If I'm to kind of gauge our maximum running speed. Maybe we would be faster if we hadn't left our Zimmer frame beside the bed. Or should we call it a zoomer frame? Because it makes it go significantly faster. Don't know what's going on! Okay, so something invaded our house. We fled the house into the forest, which is probably the worst decision we could have made. Okay, still in the forest. We are still incredibly sluggish. There's the obvious path that way. Looks to be something this way. Nope. Just a, just a dead end. Okay, so what is this? The police station? Maybe. It is supposed to be like 1887, so this... M oh no, that's not good. The police sound just like the people who just invaded my home. The hell is that? It's nothing. What's up with the music? Okay, we're going into the old Harmon Castle. The combined forces of Harmon and Bellingham families managed to crush the rebellion and brought order to the Bronzewell provinces. However, their friendship lasted only for a short while after that. Oh no. Please don't crash. I beg you, please don't crash. Please don't crash! I think it may actually crash. No, just a really long loading screen. Okay. So we're still in the prologue, I think. Chapter 1, Old Harmon Castle. Okay. So we've made it past the prologue, which is absolutely just splendid. Okay. The front gates were open, but for some reason that monster didn't follow me inside. It's not very nice. You don't know it's a monster. It could actually be a person. It could even be your wife. For all we know. Uh, 
Can I pick this up, please? Excellent. So the rules here are pretty much the same as every other universe we've been in. Glass breaks, gravity functions, and our legs cannot carry us any further than a couple of meters. Wow, this place is a disgusting mess. What did, what did I just touch? Are these supposed to be organs? I think they're supposed to be organs. That's gross. Let's uh, try and clean this up. This mess won't come off that easily. Oh my god, is that actually a thing? Oh well, I'm still going to try. What if we put this back over here? Is it going to play the same? No, it doesn't. Okay. We did do a try. We did do a try and it did not function. There's a hammer here too. There's a couple of hammers here. I don't think that one's supposed to be there. But it is. So why would we ignore it? Uh, this looks like a scene transition. We don't know where that goes. Let's just fully explore this place first. Hello? I do not trust that for a split second. There's no one in it. Excellent. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a painting of Alexander of Brandenburg. I wonder what he's doing in here. I didn't know he was part of the story. Uh, we've got reduced sanity. Kindle lights to record, to recover a portion of your sanity. All right. No, I am a, I am not a kindling kind of guy. I am, however, a smashing kind of guy. There we go. Didn't even need to do that either. Move chip. You're in my way. Let's see what's in these drawers. There is a book here. Wonderful. And a bunch of goblets. Awesome. Hope Harry Potter didn't need that because now it's the goblet of fire. All right, what else have we got here? There was another door that we didn't quite explore. I can't remember what we were doing in that end of the house. I don't even know why we're here, to be honest. Okay, these drawers have been uh, ransacked already. No input needed by us, which is a little bit concerning because I am definitely the ransacking type of gamer, leaving a real mess. There is a mezzanine floor up there. I don't know if that is going to be useful later on or not. Toss that in the fire for fun. It is 12 o'clock, or at least this clock broke at 12 o'clock. We, we just don't know. Studium, the alchemist study. Okay, let's check this out. Alchemists, my family has been murdered. I'm seeking safe harbor. There is a note, a remark on the unusual incident. Apparently one of the storage workers went on a psychosis and attacked the other servants. He is currently being restrained and questioned, but we haven't got any clear explanation to the recent outburst. He appears to be hallucinating. Keeps mumbling something about the remorse beyond control. Others have reported seeing some strange shadows on the walls. Distrust and fear is growing among the servants. We need to find out what the hell is happening in this castle before people will start to think we are being haunted by ghosts. From William Dalton, WD himself, whoever that is. Oh, no, this li laboratory looks to be thoroughly ransacked. That's hilarious. That's exactly the words I used. Uh, what's up with the, what's up with the mouse acceleration? It is intense. It's way worse than the base game. Is there actually an enemy here? Uh, okay, looks like we're going to be crawling to our next destination with just the most heinous amount of tinnitus in the world. Okay, I'm going to close that. I don't think there's any enemies here. We'll just go around and we'll start looting with reckless abandon. Maybe we have to use the tinderboxes. We seem to be absolutely crippled by the idea of the dark. What's this, a pop? Is it break? Yes! Hello? Okay, that was weird. Hello! I think I'm Daniel! I could actually be Daniel. A lot of these custom stories kind of tend to take precedent right after the events of Amnesia the Dark Descent. It won't budge. What if we throw this entire heavy chest at it? No, it really won't budge. That's insane. Uh, these chairs are stacked up nicely. Must change that. Make an absolute mess. Great. That'll impede the progress of anybody stupid enough to try and attack us. Hello? Oh, something to smash. What's in there? Let's find out. All right, what is this? It's a dead bird. Okay. I probably should have just looked before I smashed that thing. Uh, still, oh no, this clock actually tells a different time. That is six, six o'clock is when that one broke. Anything in here? Absolutely nothing. There is another note and something to smash. Great, that is a sturdy window. Ever since I inherited my position as the new lord of this castle, 
I keep seeing the same dream over and over. Who is that dream? Guy? I'm surrounded by brightly lit greenish blue lights. The air is freezing cold around me. I can hear Ophelia calling me by name, even after I wake up. I know she's dead, but these voices sound and feel so real to me. Find the source of the dark presence and you'll get what you want the most, is what she keeps telling me. This cannot be just a mere coincidence. I've ordered William to dig up the old books and tomes of my father's old research. Perhaps the old legends about Exidio Maleficium, the ritual of resurrection, could be true after all. Oh, it auto-closed, okay. Uh, Maleficium is actually more like, um, hatred in Latin than anything else. Just gotta be said, so you're actually raising a demon. Okay, there is a naked looking man over here. I'm just gonna make sure, really quickly, that the stream hasn't automatically been set to unlisted or private because YouTube has a nasty, nasty habit of doing so. It is unlisted, that's embarrassing. All right, public it is. Save, save, save. Wonderful. Okay, so here's this guy with his little dingling hanging out. Uh, good for him, I suppose. These are newly made tombstones. There are no names carved on them. Well, we might need one very shortly. Uh, we've actually gone ahead and made a real dog's breakfast of the progression of this place. That one will not move, it will not budge. We haven't been down here. Well, I was using the word down figuratively, not literally. Jesus, who sat on this? <laughs> Did John Cena come and sit down on this? Uh, I imagine we need crowbar with this. Uh, won't be removed without some tools. How about this guy's head? No, he's not that smart, apparently. All right, so there is a big downstairs that we could probably get a key for eventually because there's a lock on it. The cellar of the castle, it's locked. That is absolutely glorious to hear. And I think there was also one door that we didn't explore way back at the start, right over here. This one. What is this one? It is. It won't budge. Okay. That's good. That's good to know. So now that we have more power, which is uh, the information that we have, we can now kind of focus our efforts better on where we're supposed to be going rather than the potential places that we've missed. Uh, what's in here? This is probably not good. Actually, gotta be said, this place is completely effed in the A. What about this pot? Can we smash this? Yes, very nice. Very nice. That is a very Euclidean pot. What about this Fabergé egg? Yep, that smashes too. Excellent. Okay, we are grinding our teeth down to the absolute nub that we can use to chew with, but I don't think we'll actually be chewing anything after the events of this game. Somehow, something tells me that maybe we're gonna die. Maybe we're gonna die a bunch of different times. We found a tinderbox. There seems to be no lamp either, which is just flat out annoying. Uh, got another set of doors. We came out of here, right? Yeah, okay. So, we've almost explored everywhere. There seems to be one more door to go down there, and there's also this one door here that will not budge. Wonderful. So it seems like this one right here is the only option. The upper lounge. There was certainly more to the dark history of the castle's underground tunnels than Francis had originally thought. He became obsessed with finding answers from the old tomes. I couldn't give two hoots what Francis was obsessed with. Honestly, my family was just attacked. I don't even know why we're in here. I think we were looking for police, but it didn't quite go to plan. What's in here? Anything in here? There's a box here. Nope, nothing else of note. That's fine. Uh, we'll smash this pot right here because we are breaking and entering. Why not? You know, if you taste the poison, lick the plate, so to speak. I love that phrase so much. Just double down on everything. Uh, not a lot in here that we can really ransack. There is a note. I just smashed a quill. Restricted cellar access. It appears our young lord is currently being occupied studying the history and the old maps of this castle. Ever since the death of his family, he's always been studying with a drink in his hand's reach in the wine cellar. We're keeping the cellar locked most of the time to prevent more disruptions from the servants. In case you have something new to report about the castle proud operations, here's the cellar spare key that we keep here in the upper lounge. William Delton. Thank you, William Delton. Could you perhaps specify where you are keeping said key? Because I did not see any mention of where said key is in this entire region. Okay, we can light more tinderboxes, but honestly, again, why bother? 
I don't think it's completely necessary to do so. We came this way? No, we did not. Yes, we did. Yeah, we definitely came this way. Okie dokie. We're going to move onwards and outwards. I won't budge. Excellent. Hello? William Delton? I'm not a thief. My wife's just been murdered. I, I may need medical assistance or a hearse. Either or, I'm not really too fussed at this point. I seem to have completely forgotten all about her. My wife, who just got murdered. There's a cross in here. We can probably use that to defend ourselves later. Let's uh, keep a, an eye on that. What is this? A random book? No, thank you. Okay. An excerpt from the recent histories of the Brownswell provinces. The secret tunnel that lies beneath the old Harmon Castle and Castle Proud was used as a smuggling route to, develop, to deliver supplies between the two nearby castles during the rebellions in the year 1860. Its strategical... Okay. Its strategic significance during that time turned out to be of immense value. When the enemy was lured into the passageway, the united forces of the Harmon and Bellingham houses managed to seal off both entrances of the passageway, trapping the remaining rebel forces and ev evidently starving them to death. When the passageway was reopened, the bodies of the deceased rebel soldiers were found in a horrendous state. The soldiers described it as if an unnatural beast had turned their skin inside out and ripped them apart. After this discovery, the holy priests had declared the site cursed and it was decided that the old way should be kept sealed for an eternity. Well, eternity uh, often ends up being unusually temporary. What have you said? Okay, I hate that this one opens outwards. That door, that door right there, it opens outwards. That sucks. I hate that. Big hate. Uh, we're not going insane in here though, hilariously. Dungeons of the Castle Proud. Okay, looks like a map. Foundations of the Castle Proud. I don't know if that's ever going to be useful, but it's good to know that there is, in fact, a map of the place. Is something going to jump out of that closet? That would have been a real good opportunity for a jump scare, but it seems not. Uh, let's close this in case that dresser is there for a good reason. Okay, I'm still not really seeing anything of note. A couple of shirts. Yuck. Bunch of crap, including this bottle I'm about to smash. Or not. And we've got the key. Wonderful! Okie dokie. Now that we've got the cellar key. What was that? I heard a door like shuffle open. This one won't budge for some reason. Weird. Do we look in this dresser? That is the first time I've actually found something in a dresser though, by the way. Okay. Tried to smash that pot by proxy, but it just did not work. What's in here? Have we looked in here? Yep, this is the entrance. So there is one room that just flat out will not budge. Maybe we have to come back here at some point. We'll go back to the castle quarters. After the stagecone accident, the entire Harmon family heritage was passed down to Francis. However, the loss of one's family can come at a great burden. Oh! No! Hello? Leave him in there and be on my merry way. Oh, we need to go downstairs as well to the cellar. Okay. Oh, wait, that's right here. Hey, that's lucky. Nice. Okay, we'll come down here. We'll use the uh, key on probably the lock. There we go. And now we'll go into the cellar of the castle. The curse gripped the four guilty perpetrators harder each day. When all hope was lost, they decided to keep pursuing more and more desperate measures. What, like inches? What kind of measures? Is it, is it metric imperial? Come on. Are we using liters here? It seems that safe heaven cannot be found anywhere. Now I have little choice but to press on. It's safe haven, guys. It's safe haven. I can't see. I can't see a single thing. I am literally blind. Okay, this place is disgusting and foul. Don't know what the hell that sound was. Ooh. Oh, that sounds like a monster. Okay, we got a save artifact here. Great. So we can save here. Death is not final. However, each time you succumb, the forces of the unknown will take notice. All right, so don't die. Is basically what I'm being told right here. Just don't, don't perish. Do not expire. Which I can do. 
can withhold expiring for a wee while. Okay, I don't know what's so creepy about this uh, tunnel right here. Is it the sounds? Is it the obvious wind that's rushing down here? I think I'm about to fall over. From insanity. You know that thing. Whenever you're uh, kind of a little bit, uh, a little bit mentally disturbed, your legs stop working. That thing that happens to every single person in the world, otherwise why would it be in this game? Okay, I think we're doing pretty good actually. Uh, let's continue exploring down here. Looks like there's some broken bottles. Oh, okay! Who was that? I'm gonna stand by this light in the hopes that maybe we can get rid of some of this horrendous motion blur. It doesn't look like it's working though. It's actually, no, it's not working whatsoever. It is a worthless mechanic. I need that lantern. Yeah, you don't say. Okay. Yeah, okay, good. Great! That absolutely got rid of all of our mental illness. Uh, nothing behind here, it doesn't look like. Good. What's in here? Hello? Piss, piss, piss. Piss, piss. Any barrels? No. Right. Can we take this arm? No. I wonder whose arm that is. Okay, so it looks like we're just kind of doomed to be completely insane for the rest of the game, right? We don't have unlimited oil, do we? No, we certainly do not. Okie dokie then. We are slightly calming down, or maybe not. Maybe it's not happening that way at all. Alright, what's in here? Just a bunch more motion blur. I... Honestly, that is a brave choice to have so much motion blur so early in the game. If I were not playing this live, I would have probably stopped playing this off of my own volition by now. Just because of how difficult it is to actually navigate. Okay, we'll come in here try and loot this place as well. Uh, there's a bunch of meat on the walls, I think. I don't know, I can't quite see past all of my insanity. Oh, that was a tinderbox. Which I can't really grab because the controls are just absolutely nasty right now. Okay, I'm pushing on forward. I care not what mental state I am in. We have an adventure to finish. We're going. We're going forward. Okay, we feel much better now after that uh, slip and trip onto the ground. All right, there's a bunch of protection peaches here. Good to know. Laudanum, thank the Lord. Now we can begin our drug habits. Anything over here? Nope, just a bunch of blood and uh, probably makes sense because there are in fact a bunch of pigs and stuff hanging from the ceiling. All right, not really interested in that room right there. What else is there? In here? Anything? No, nothing. What's in here? This is the end of a room. I don't know. Oh, we can uh, probably break these boards and go downwards. What's going on? All right, the door has just been covered in meat. That's not very good. Uh, we have a hammer. However, that's probably ideal. Yep, the uh, meat is now writhing and pulsating, indicating that we probably shouldn't be standing on it. Let's break this and we'll go down. Ow, my ankles. Probably should have landed on those boxes. That would have been the smarter choice, but I did not. I did not do that. I did not do that whatsoever. I did not. Uh, can we go in here? Yes, we can. We just have to unblock this door. Wow, this is actually very thoroughly boarded up. We are making an absolute cacophony, by the way. Alright, what did we find? What did we find? Where are we? I don't recognize any of the... Oh, right, I see. So this is... Meaty. Oh, no! Oh, no! Why? How? Where? When? No! Theo, you get your delicious, voluptuous rump away from me. Spank your own hog! Okay, probably go this way. Oh, yes. No! Oh, I sh Damn it. Accidentally opened my steam overlay. Okay. I broke the boards. We are now running. We are now running. We are continuing to run. We are going. We are not particularly interested in stopping. I'm still making an absolute mess. Okay, what's through here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's lovely. We are still being chased. Please leave! Theodore! Leave me alone! 
Okay, we're going further and further into the meat. I think Theodore just gave us a uh, really, really distasteful spanking. Okay, we made it to the castle quarters, and I hit a bunch of hotkeys that changed the site that I was on. Francis Herman, no. He knew he couldn't erase the past. Now the old myths about resurrecting and stuff have finally come to the surface, I imagine. Okay, so we got one lump of drugs, which we are going to leave right now, which has just inflated our heart like crazy. Probably good. Uh, we can go in here now, I imagine, because we've got this hammer. Yep, that's precisely what... Oh, the hammer broken cannot be used anymore. It was just a stone hammer after all. That's right, yes. This wood is so much more dense than stone is. Famously so. Okay, we'll get rid of that. We will open up this... The drawers don't move while they're, when they're pulled. They're actually fake. Bollocks! I don't believe that for a split second. There's gotta be... Ah ha ha! There's no power? What the hell would I need power for? They're not fake drawers, obviously. Oh, there's a door behind here. Okay, that's good to know. That's probably where we're supposed to go next. Oh, who? Where? Why? How? For what? Turn it down for what? Hello? Got a bottle of unknown liquid. You probably wouldn't like if I threw it at you. What if it's some kind of cooking oil? It's very greasy, it'll be very difficult to get off your skin! Alright, piss on this. We'll set that up as a trip, uh, like, trip trap. Uh, we're out of oil. No, we're not. A uh, little trip wire down there, so if, uh, bit buys Theo comes in, we will hear him. Good. One here, one here, one here. Nothing in any of these things, though, unfortunately. What about over here? Move, chair! Good grief. Could you be any more invasive? I'm here to play a game, not sit. Excuse me, sir. Wonderful. Ah. Numeric values arranged in some order. Okay, that's <laughs> nothing short of confusing. New orders for the remaining servants. From now on, it is forbidden to traverse through the secret passageway to the Carl Cloud. The last patrol went to the tunnels, went missing, and we fear that the worst has happened. Your orders are not to let anyone or anything get through. I'm leaving a handful of my own men to guard the castle. The west of us will try to reach the castle plowed through the surface, even though it might equally be equally as dangerous at this time. We'll make contact with Lord Harwman as soon as we can. David Emsworth. I don't know who the hell that is, to be quite honest. I don't know if that's even uh, useful to us. What? Oh, this is useful to us. No, it's not. I thought they would actually... Yeah, somehow I was sure I'd find something behind this painting. This mod is very self-aware, I'm not gonna lie, like, incredibly self-aware. So we've got no more goodies, we came in here and what did we find? What was that note? What did that say? It's forbidden to traverse, yep, I saw that, leaving a handful of my own men to guard the castle. Yep, they are pretty messed up. Now, I imagine, excuse me sir, gotta remove that just to make sure that you are in fact what you claim to be. Ah. So, two was up, and also... Oh, do we have to do it in order, though? Well, maybe we do. Okay, let's leave that there. Okay, just checking my corners, making sure we're not being ambushed by some kind of rude dude. And just in here is the answer. So, one down, th uh, two up, three up. One down, two up, three up, and then we'll come in here and, and regroup. One down, two up, three up. 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 I'm just trying to like, uh... Wait, am I reading the right sides? Two, two, yes. Maybe that's supposed to be the one, actually. Yes, I think so, you know? I think this one here is actually supposed to be down at the one. That's supposed to be three. That's supposed to be two. Good. So we need four, five, six. Four, five, six. Which is going to be uh, the third, fourth, and sixth number. Numeral. Okay. But, uh, mm, six. Okay, all of these are down, it seems. So down, down, up, down. From the, from the right. Down, down, up, down. From the right. I got a weird way of remembering codes. I know it's I know it's really strange, but it, it works. Down, down, up, down. Up. Down. 
down. Gotcha! Nice! Not being ambushed again. That's very, very cash money. I love that. So we'll come in here. I'm actually going to... Oh, piss! I'm hiding! I'm on with the disc. I'm on with the disc. I'm on with the disc. You know what, actually? It's not going to cut it, is it? I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to... I'm going to Blair Witch in the corner. Wait, did he even come into the door? Hello? What, is he stupid or something? Or are we... Are we given time to try and, like, find a place to hide? I hear him right outside of there. I think we're being given time to hide. Or maybe not. You know what? Fortune favors the bowl. Fortune favors the bowl. Fortune favors the bowl. Fortune favors the bowl. Hopefully this isn't really loud. Okay, I don't think he... I don't think he knows that we're here. Ah, right, we're about to transition. Let's go over here. And we'll go into the old way, which is ban. David Emsworth's mercenaries answered the call to defend the interiors of the old Harmon Castle once again. They hadn't forgotten the debt they still owe to the Harmon family. Okay. Dogchuck, hey, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I am just going through the last of the custom stories that was recommended to me. And so far, all I've found is that the enemies are kind of stupid. We'll close that, of course, because it seems to be the absolute kryptonite of anything that lives in here. I bet there's more enemies though, right? Yep, that doesn't sound good. In fact, that sounds really bad. What if we go over here? Can we throw that rock at someone? No, no we cannot. Okay, looking pretty good. You're good? Excellent, that's excellent to hear. I hope everybody in the stream is good. Uh, unfortunately, our protagonist is not doing so good. He's getting the motion blur sickness. Aren't we all, buddy old pal? Aren't we all? Okay, pick up a tinderbox. Still looking around. I don't really see a lot that we can do. I think we just have to progress. There looks to be somewhere where we can hide right here. Hopefully there's nothing in here. Good, there's nothing in there. Wonderful. Still a bunch of rose uh, petals blowing around the place. You know what I should do? You're about to suggest play Deltarune, aren't you? I'll never guess. I think I already did. I think I already guessed exactly what you're about to say. Oh yeah, right after I finish these uh, custom stories, my streams are going to be Deltarune focused. Don't you worry, buddy old pal. I'll get to him. These boxes here. I can't really stack them up properly on account of the... Uh... What's in here? On account of the motion blur. How sturdy is this broom? I remember the brooms actually being quite... Have a nice day. All oh, right, okay. That's not what I expected at all. I thought you were going to harass me to play Deltarune or something like that. You got me there. You got me there. You have a nice day as well there, dog shark. Okay, still can't really stand up straight, which is just plain annoying. What else we got? A pot! Which I've smashed! Apparently, smashing that pot was the final straw. Okay, we can still loot while we're on the ground hilariously enough. Just can't see what's in here. No, nope, there's nothing in there, it seems. What about in here? Nothing. Okay, we got a note, though. I spent days scavenging the old parts of these hallways. However, there's been no sign of the dark presence that had been reported to exist here decades ago. Some things don't add up. For example, where are all the bodies remaining from the civil wars? The voices have gone quiet while I've been here. And now, I'm really starting to doubt myself. Maybe I've been just imagining these things. We've turned our attention to our neighboring castle now. Henry suspects that the owners of Castle Proud, the recipients at the other end of these tunnels, may have already been here without our knowledge. Maybe they found something in here before our arrival. I hope that the Baron of Castle Proud can give us some answers. Oh, he didn't even sign off his name for us. So, the path forward leads to Castle Proud. That's where I might find Francis Harmon. I'm being led to believe that the story is about two kind of warring castles, right? It's got to be, it's got to be about that. Scott says, yeah, what I said before, he's at my house right now. Oh, tell him I say hi. And tell him I also, I'm playing the uh, Amnesia Custom Story, the, the final one that he told me to play. I'm doing exactly what he said. Uh, what if we just come over here? 
Actually, this looks kind of final. I'll go and explore that other room first. Just in here. Yep, this might have a couple of little resources. Wonderful oil, immediate profit. Can we break this yet? No. Okay, well, I did try. What's up here? Anything? Just a box, I think. Just a box, just a box, just a box, just a box. Okay, we'll come on through here. There is nothing in here except for immediate profit of oil, which we've already got. I imagine this is going to trigger a chase sequence, judging by how it's blocking our egress back. So I'll kind of be a little bit cautious. There is a door over there, that's good to know. And there's the obvious room right here. Not seeing a hell of a lot though. Okay, got a saving artifact. We could probably touch it right now. This is where the shadow originated from. The dark energy accumulated from the great wartime massacre came into being the first speck of the dark Hyphae. It kept expanding over the decades. I don't know what Hyphae is. Don't know what that is. <laughs> it says it as if I'm supposed to have had some kind of education as to the uh, comings and goings of what Hyphae are, but it's not a mushroom thing, is it? What's going on? Okay, just taking some deep breaths. Oh, the meat! And water! Oh, piss on this! Great! Literally the worst outcome possible is what we are now currently dealing with. Okay, I'm gonna get through here because I know that it was going the wrong direction. Very close though. Splish! I think I just hit it in the head with a box, whatever it is. Okay, I've got the uh, cello piping up. I hit my head on the ceiling, which is not good. Nothing over here. So, the monster is in the water right there. We have to gap it through there, I think. I'm going. I did it. I gapped it. Sorry there, little water monster. Would you mind maybe going into that room there? No? Okay, thank you! Bye-bye! Okay. Okay. Still moving past it. We could probably just jump on these things here. Not have to worry about what's actually in the water. What's in there? Uh, I think it's still absolutely water ridden. We could probably leapfrog our way over there with this little technique that I picked up from. No! No, not like this! Why? Okay, we gotta like get it through, right? And we gotta throw this out of the way. And now we jump up here. Ooh, that was close. I don't see any resources around the place. I know where we came from though. We probably, call me crazy, we probably have to either stack boxes up there and then go up into that path, or we have to go through that little area and find some kind of uh, a, a key, right? Oh, that was a weird little exploit I just found. Anything in here? Mm, yes, there's some uh, laudanum, great. That'll fuel our drug habit. Can we move this? No, we cannot. That is not good. Piss. So now we're stuck in this room with the water monster. And we don't necessarily know what to do next. Probably jump over here. Yeah, this thing's stupid as a brick. Let's just run. Oh, okay. I'm in the water. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm on this pillar. Okay, I'm going to try my box stacking theory. Because I think it's actually the right answer. Yay! Oh, that was so close as well. You! Okay, good. That's that's within reach. Good, 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 good. Okay, we're over here. That looks boarded up. I don't think we can actually go in there, so... Let's just grab this box, put it up here, and try and get out of this pit that we found ourselves in. The game audio is much louder than your voice is. Okay, I'll try and change that. I'll change that right now. There we go. Is that a little bit better? Looks a little bit better on my end. Uh, we can jump up here, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I have finally juked that water monster. What is in here? A bunch of garbage. Literally just a bunch of garbage. More garbage. There's oil right here. That's profit. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm pretty happy with what we've got so far. Nothing's jumping out of the closets for me yet. Which is pretty oh, hello! Are we being, are we being raided? Oh. I don't think we're being raided. Okay. I did try. I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna harass the monster a little bit because it's it's funny. It's funny to do. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at here, but it seems as though we kind of don't really have a choice but to go back down here, right? I'm doing it. Okay, broke my ankles and ran out of, ran out of oil in the same millisecond, which sucks. But I think we'll take advantage of the fact that the water monster is on the other side of this door right here. Or not. Maybe we'll just keep on gapping it through here. I don't see anything to jump up on, so either we're getting a chase sequence or we are pretty much in the clear. We are most certainly not in the clear! We are not in the clear! What the hell is that sound? Why is it so aggressive?! Yo, yo, what up? Hey, you cool can of beans! <laughs> what a username. How we doing? I am in a miserable spot. I'm not gonna lie. We have no oil in the lamp. We probably need to stick it in here. What are we being attacked by? I don't see anything splashing. Okay, there is kind of like a chair over there that we could maybe... Where's this water monster? Is there a water monster? I don't think there's a water monster. Okay, we're gapping it. I'm gapping it. I'm running. I, I'm, I'm enduring the obvious threat. We're just gonna go through. I have to lower that ladder somehow. Uh, perhaps I should throw a book at it, maybe. Good grief, it's loud in here! Alright, what else do I see? Uh, there's another kind of little room in here with... Oh! I bet this is for the ladder. Oh, hello there! Water monster! How are you today? Okay, I'm running away. I'm running away from the water monster because I know that our speed is uh, pretty much equal. And here we go. We've made it to the ladder. And hopefully the, the orchestra of the damned can stop playing so hard. Dog shark fods, eh? This is Scott's world on Dog Sharks PC. Hey Scott, welcome to the welcome to the stream. I hope my screams and uh, uh, horror are um, bringing you peace. Hedrick Bellingham had been the Baron of Castle Proud for over 40 years. He didn't know Francis Harmon personally, but he had a lot of respect towards his father many years ago. Well, unfortunately, I feel like that respect may have expired. Chapter 2, Castle Proud. I can do that. Ah! Little scream right there. I can't do tea kettle screams. I wish I could. I wish I, wish I could learn how to do that. But it seems to be one of those operatic things. Oh, that sounds like a monster, doesn't it? Is it a monster? Or is it just atmosphere? You can never tell in these custom mods. You can never really tell, unless you literally throw something. I'm using my ears. I'm using my eyes. I hear and see nothing. It's atmosphere. Alright, what have we got? We've got some... Tongs? Forceps? Can't remember what these are called. Of things. I'm gonna use it to open that door because I'm lazy. Uh, let's get that chair right out of the way. We'll open up all of these drawers. I'm making a real, real mess. That was the same scream. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty close. Pretty close, but uh, not quite the right pitch nor gender, I don't think. and his men welcomed us with open arms in the castle proud. I was only a mere child when I last visited this place. Its hallways still look as impressive as I had remembered after all these years. I had a private conversation with the Baron later in the evening. It turned out that the dark presence occupying the underground tunnels had been successfully contained and relocated someplace safe. The Baron called it the Shadow. He couldn't tell me more unless I swore to help him. I was intrigued. I'm getting vibes that Francis is either supposed to be the predecessor or it's supposed to be the aftermath of Amnesia the Dark Descent. As all of these custom stories seem to be. Okay, nothing in here doesn't seem. Oh, you guys missed. We saw some guts on the floor way at the... Creepy! We saw some guts on the floor way right at the start of this game, so I tried to sweep it up with a broom, and we got dialogue for it. Okay, can't move that. All right, I've got this breakable pot. I will smash it against the next threat that I see. That took care of a bunch of different uh, issues that I immediately had right in front of me. 
Hello? There's nothing over here except for a uh, brazier. That's a downstairs. I'm not even going to justify that with a with a reaction. We're, we're just going to ignore that if it happened. What's in here? A couple of broken display panels. Uh, a bunch of broken stuff, actually. Just a bunch of crappy old broken stuff. <laughs> yeah, almost as if we have already been through here. But I know we haven't. I know that this castle is just in complete disarray. Okie dokie. Let's go downstairs into the nightmare fuel that awaits us down here. Oh, it's, it's actually well lit. <sighs> There's always something, huh? There's always something that pops up. I was thinking, hey, this is nice and welcoming. Turns out, no, it's not nice and welcoming. It's actually the complete opposite of that. This is a big room, actually. Got a bunch of rose petals falling down this hole right here. We have slipped and fallen over. That's not going to stop us from uh, going and looking for loot, though. There is a door going downstairs here. We could probably try to see what's down here. Just a fireplace, it seems. Anything in here? Nope. That's absolutely fine. Nothing on these bookshelves, I don't think. We had a, a somewhat decent look when we were kind of on our hands and knees, crawling around, begging for j just an ounce of, of mental therapy, which we did not get. Our prayers were left unanswered. What's this? That is a book, uh, but more importantly, it's a complete display case, so not on my watch. In fact, you know what? Let's also uh, put that chair in the fireplace there too. What's in here? This is... Wow! I think that's the first thing we've actually found inside of a closet. How are you enjoying Followed by Death? Uh, gotta be said, a lot more straightforward than the other mods that I have played so far. But since it's only my third mod, minus the uh, Necrolog, of course, I, I don't want to cast judgment just yet. It could get worse. It could get really frustrating. But it hasn't... Oh, hello! It hasn't done so far. It has not got worse so far. In fact, it just gets better and better the longer I play this one. We are making very quick progress, too. Uh, let's take this guy's helmet, just in case we need to throw it at someone. Did he come around here? How the hell did he phase through all that? Okay, that was weird. It won't budge. What if I smack it down with this helmet? Oh. Wait, did that do it? No. Hello? Okay, I think something just hit the uh, the wall there. Okay, we've got more knights. Throw that on the ground. I can't see! I don't think the lamp helps either. Okay, where does this go? This goes... Damn, I tried. I actually thought that we could go outside, but it seems that that's not the case at all. Oh, piss on that. Is there literally anywhere else we can go? No. Okay. Looks like we're going up that horrible staircase. Uh, so far, we've had about 20 panic attacks, which is um, a little annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. We're probably about to have another panic attack and fall on the ground as well. Become completely debilitated by whatever it is we are currently experiencing, which is not really horror. We're just kind of walking around this old castle, and the dialogue would indicate that we've been here before. So there's no need to be scared, unless we were being attacked by something. Yep, that's sus. Let's try upstairs first. I think I value the, the upstairs path more than I value the, the downstairs path. High ground is the one held by the victor, after all. all. Right, private studies. We're gonna go into the private studies. The Baron was reluctant to make the call. The presence of the Shadow had already put too much pressure on him. What call? I suppose that's what we're in here to find out, right? What kind of call that the uh, game is currently talking about? Hey, what's in here? There is a gramophone. Nice. There's no cylinder in the phonograph. Okay, so we are looking for a cylinder to go in that phonograph. It's probably not going to be in this room, to be quite honest. Why would it be in that room? That makes no sense. This is open, surprisingly. This is relaxing in here, actually. The wooden frame holding the glass together appears to be old and weak. Uh, is there anything that we could... Yeah, maybe this here? Nope, that wasn't heavy enough. Maybe this Fabergé egg, perhaps? Yep, that did it. That was a... <laughs> that was a lot of crap that we just broke. I don't think we can make that jump. I think that we're probably going to have to... Worst case scenario, we're probably going to have to build a bridge of some sort. 
All right, nice. We've got a tinderbox and some laudanum. I don't know why we keep getting tinderboxes. Maybe if we were playing on, like, hardcore mode, but we are not, so not really necessary. Throw that out a window because we're not using it. Report on the demise of Richard Harmon. The sudden demise of Richard Harmon and her young... And her... The sudden demise of Richard Harmon and her young daughter... Okay, Richard Harmon is a woman and her young daughter, Ophelia, is unfortunate. These news, not the news, but these news, as if they're holding the news in front of us, could spark another rebellion in a couple of months unless order is properly restored. Upon inspecting the scene of the accident, our agents have indicated that a sabotage might have played in these debts. We know that one man has gained much power after this incident. Could Francis Harmon, the new proprietor of the Harmon heritage, be this cruel? Hedrick Bellingham, Baron of the Castle Proud. That looks like an attack piece to me. You should play Deltarune. Okay, cool, Pecan of Beans. I'll do that right after I, I, I do these uh, Amnesia custom maps. So the Baron suspected Francis Harmon of being involved in the deaths of his family members. No kidding. I smell patricide. Okay, nothing in there. There's a bunch of rotting roses in here. Oh, I see. We're supposed to... Oh, third person. First person platforming. Great. What's this? Old archive. It's locked. I need a key. Okay, well, I think I know exactly where that key is. It's probably out this window and then a couple of hop, skips and jumps this way, right? Boing. Boing. Oh, no. I think we've thrown everything out the window that we could possibly use to break that down. Let's find out. Maybe there's, like, something else. Is this... Statue right over here. Let's use this. Okay. We'll jump over here, and we'll jump over here, and we will try and... Oh, nothing. Nothing? Well, that's not good. Uh, okay. Let's go get something bigger then, I suppose. We did throw the chair out of the window. So, again, might be in a bit of a bad spot. What about this thing? This thing looks big and heavy. And we run. And we run. Ah, got it. Nice. Okay. We've got a violin. The fine instrument is in perfect condition. Okay. Ah, uh, we got the wax cylinder, which is excellent. That is the thing that we need to stick in the phonograph. Nothing there. Anything here? Oh, my eyes! What the hell's going on in here? What was that color grading? Why was that color grading? Why? <laughs> okay, still got some uh, bottles down here that we can smash. That is blocked up. No going in there. Uh, let's scan for loot. No loot. No loot. No loot. No loot. Any loot? No loot. That's sus. Is there a door behind this? I feel like that's a door frame. It is a door frame. Guarantee it. Uh, and we're about to find out what's in it. Hello? Pretty sure I just pulled the right book out, didn't I? Okay. I'll keep on scanning them. Maybe there's more than one bookshelf that we need to ransack before we can actually get the door to open. Oh, there's a note here and a chair. You will open this to ransack. Nothing. What's this? A letter from Andre Masai. For centuries, your family has sworn to keep our existence a secret from the rest of the world. It seems now your oath will finally be broken. The shadow has escaped from our grasp and has marked Francis Harmon. We have no other choice now. You'll have to send him down for me to the cathedral. Now, this may be our only chance to contain the shadow. Andre Masai. Okay. The sender of this letter seems to know a lot more about the shadow. Maybe I should try to locate their whereabouts just for my own sake. Uh, yeah, could do that. Or here's a, here's a counter offer. We could not do that because I don't think they exist. Ah, here's another one. Is that all of them? Is that all of them? No. So there's got to be one more book, right? We did get one of these. Uh, a hidden cathedral lies beneath Castle Proud. After starting followed by a death from 1 to 10, how would you rate all four Amnesia custom stories that you've played? This one is up there. It's probably a, a 7 or an 8, but I haven't, I haven't finished it. The last one I played, Abduction, 
would have been a 10 out of 10 if the crowbar wasn't placed in such a god-awful place. So that would drop it down to a, maybe a 7 out of 10. It's still pretty fun, actually. Uh, La Casa was my first one. I don't even think I can rate it based on it being my first one. Penumbra, 10 out of 10. That was exceptional, and it was just as long as all of the Penumbra games put together. Looks like we've got another dead bird in here. What is the relevance of these dead birds? Can we take them? No. <laughs> I gave him his feather back. Nice. That feels good, actually. I did it. I did a good thing. Okay, we probably have to look a little harder for these books now, right? Because we know that they're here. And I think that progress is going to be in threes. Here it is. Wait, there's not one on, like, every bookshelf, is there? Oh, God. Please, no. No, maybe not. They are slightly discolored, though, so it shouldn't be too hard to spot them. If there are. Just an absolute arseload of them. Okie dokie! And on this side, I don't really see any discolored books. No little hand icon either. Nothing here. No, absolutely nothing. Yay! I uh, hope no one needs that one. Good. Found another. And. Oh! The books have reset. Nothing's happening. Piss. Are you a god, canonically? Uh, no. Not quite. Not quite. If you're talking about that ARG that I've been working on for my channel, no. No, I am not a god. I'm not a god. I am a video. Right now. Well, when the, the live finishes, I'll be a video, and videos cannot die, so... Even me, the person who will be watching the video after the recording ends, becomes mortal. Isn't that funny? Just a little reminder of our own, uh, our own mortality. We probably need some kind of note that tells us exactly what order these bookshelves go in, right? Because there were definitely five. And I have a sneaky suspicion that the phonograph is probably going to tell us a bunch of other stuff. Uh, smash up this violin right there as well. Throw that there. That's satisfying to look at. Okay, uh, I think we go back. We go back, we listen to what's on this uh, music disc. Hopefully it's not Minecraft Cat. And then we, I think we progress from there. We didn't go in here, did we? Ah, it's locked and needs a key. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so we've got a cylinder for the phonograph. Oop, that was <laughs> embarrassing. The hell is that? The safe in the wall is locked. There has to be a way to open it. Is it perhaps the the phonograph? Dun 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 dun. It just sounded like a doorbell. Is it safe to eat explosives? Actually, believe it or not, it is very safe to eat explosives because there is a very low chance that a spark will ignite in your stomach. It's probably actually the safest place for it. So if you ever find yourself in a place where you feel as though you might need to defuse some kind of bomb, the best thing you can do is eat it. I know! Whoops. Yuck. So it's... Whoops. I need to learn my arpeggios a bit better. ding a ling a -ling! Success! Oh, broken glass. Thank you very much. Can we have a hint of a basis or place to start looking for the ARG? Everything's there. Everything's literally in place in my old content. I cannot give you any more hints that have already been placed in my videos. Even the Discord, the bot that moderates it, is a hint at the ARG. I literally cannot give you any more hints without, like, flat out spoiling it. But we'll be building over time as well, um, as I kind of, like, flesh out the story a bit more. So it will evolve. So if you, if you feel like you've figured out the ARG, Chances are, there's more coming. Book combination. Statue, middle, Jesus, eagle. Thank you, that was actually quite helpful. I know exactly what to do with this. Statue, middle, Jesus, eagle. Actually, we wrote it down as well. Why would we need to keep repeating that to us? Okay, so... We need statue first. 
Hopefully I haven't absolutely ruined this bookshelf, series of bookshelves too much. What the hell do they mean by that? That is a painting. That sentence is so funny out of context. What the, uh, what is that painting? There's a bust here. Oh, is this a statue? Statue, middle, Jesus, eagle. Statue. 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 Whoop, nope, that's an actual book. <laughs> Annoying. Great. Statue. Statue. Middle. Middle? Middle? Middle, middle? 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 Probably in here somewhere. Was it over here? Yeah, there it is. Middle. And now we need Jesus. I think there was one over here. Is that Jesus? No, that's just some guy giving a real good spanking to this uh, horse while somebody probably plays the violin really badly beside him. It's probably going to make him smack that thing harder. Okay. I'm not seeing any mention of Jesus. Never mind, I found the Inri. It's right here, right? It's got to be... Gotta be on this bookshelf right here. Maybe beside it? Yep, there it is. Jesus. And the last one was Eagle, right? Eagle? Eagle! I'm not sure that constitutes as an eagle, but it's fine. Yep, we got it. Okay. Oh, hello. Great. More broken glass. You really shouldn't have. I'm taking this key. I'm taking that key. There's also a chair in here. Very nice. Can we move this? No. We're taking this broom. Excellent. So we got a key. Okay. There was a locked door. I will huck this broom at anything that comes at us. Let's get into like javelin mode. Just in case we actually have to throw it at something. Okay. It kind of, it's... It almost makes me feel like I am playing a Pinocchio simulator with the broom like this. And I've just done a lie. I did a lie. I did a really, really big, dirty lie. Okay, why is this door closed? Why is this door closed? Why is it closed? Okay. Can we fish the door open with this, maybe? Would you rather milk a cow or eat a bagel? Oh, I'd rather eat a bagel. That's, that's how I start my day. I always start my day with a coffee and a bagel. Okay, open that up in case we're about to get attacked. We'll get this broom, of course. In javelin mode. I want to literally impale whatever gets in our way. Okay, we'll put that down for now. Put that down for now. Uh, I fancy our odds. Here, let's pick this broom back up. Get into javelin mode. Perfect. This is going to really hurt if we uh, block a monster with it. Oh, no, we have to do some looting. Okay, I can do looting. Nothing in there. Just fight. What the hell? Oh, it's another one of those. Is this bottom one, like, jammed or locked or something? Or is... No, it's just busted. Is there something in here? Can I Can I have it? I have to jerk the mouse really hard to see what's in here. What is in there? Why is it so jammed? I think there's, like, a book beneath it. That's kind of, like, locking into place. That's funny. Uh, another feather over here. Or a quill, depends on how you use it. Use it to fly, it's a feather. If you are just uh, dipping it in ink, then it is a quill. Hello? Was that me? I mean, we've got a broom. We could probably... Probably clean it up. Uh, let's take this cross. I think it might actually give us a bit more protection than a javelin broom. Hello? Don't trust that. Oh! Hello? Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay, so since he's on the other side of the house, I think we're actually in a really, really good spot. He's not coming this way, is he? I I have just the move, if he does. I'm going to poke him with this broom. Oh, there's another uh, sword here too. I mean broom. Can we leverage this open maybe like this? Nope, we can just break the game a little bit. Okay, that was weird. Take this, I'll get into javelin mode. Okay, I'm happy. Would you rather get one million subscribers or have a big fart in class? That obviously the big fart. That was awful. Who taught you how to do that sound? You gotta you gotta use your epi global compression, my dude. Oh! I threw it like like a javelin at him and it didn't really do a hell of a lot. We're running! 
Whoa, that was tense. Is he gonna follow us? No? What an idiot. What an actual oaf. What a brain dead idiot. Oaf, man, guy. What a, what a twit. A twit, a twit man. Okay, I'm not actually seeing where we could go to next. Hidden Cathedral lies beneath Castle Proud. What do we get? We got a chemistry pot, didn't we? It's good for carrying different fluids and chemicals. Can it carry that big fart that I chose in class? Okay. I'm moving on back. I'm moving on back. I don't think he's still in here somehow. I think he may have despawned. No, oh, no he hasn't! I think we actually have to get into that room as well. Ah, okay. Fine. Oh, no! Is he coming through? Is Twitter curse word? Uh, it depends on how violently you use it. It can be, but it's it's more just like a, a more modern version of dunce. Is he, is he camping the window? Is he actually camping the window? No way! Okay. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. He's definitely in that room right there. Uh, we could probably... If he comes this way. He is coming this way. We're gonna start blowing in the corner! He's a minigun, Autumn. I think I just did. I think I accidentally punched him back with this enormous arm of mine. I think I just de-atomized him. So why have we got this chemistry pot? And also, why are we still hurt if he didn't exist? Okay, we, we'll take some drugs to slake our thirst. Probably have to go back now, right? Falls of the castle proud. So I think we have to go back and do something else. The Baron didn't want to admit it, but they were also suffering from the Shadow's ever-growing presence. Don't you think maybe it came from the tunnels then? Ah. Great. And the meat has come. That's not what we need, actually, at all. So probably this is the next option, right? We can come from this direction, I don't think. Castle Foundations. There was actually a map that led down here. As the shadow took hold, the walls of Castle Proud started to crumble. The Baron feared that soon the underground tunnels could not be reached by any other means other than a direct confrontation. I'm good at direct confrontation. I think it crashed. It did, it crashed! Hopefully we won't have to like, Backtrack too far. We'll load maybe this autosave here, see what happens. Where are we? Hello? Uh. No! Are you taking the piss? Dr. Wang didn't want you to find his limbs. Oh my god! The whole thing again! That is so rough! That is so rough! No! This game is hardcore, yet you don't say. It's also broken! It's completely broken! It doesn't function! Oh, that hurts. That hurts so bad. Okay, let's try and like skip through to where we were. I need to know what's happening. No, you don't. Come off it, man. Yep, there you go. I think now we can leave, right? Yep, here we go. Would you rather sleep on command or have infinite bacon? Sleep on command. Uh, I say that because I have insomnia. You never know. You never know the value of being able to sleep on command until you watch other people do it for the rest of their life. It's meant to be a one-shot playthrough. Didn't expect people to leave. It crashed, though! 
It flat out crashed! I didn't leave! The game crashed! That is so rough. I honestly, I don't know how to feel about that. I'm slightly speechless. it out of my system you see I'm just getting it out of my system <laughs> chapter one again the old Harmon castle I'm gonna try and speed run through it as fast as I relatively can because we know what happens right the front gates were open yeah okay fine all right, let's go all the way through this again. Now, what did we need to do? We needed to get a key of some sort and we needed to find the lamp. So I think the key was down in the cellar beneath this area. Uh, yep, spooky, spooky, scary skeletons. That's fine. Not terribly interested. We are gapping it through. Kindle lights to recover a portion of your cell in sanity. I don't think we'll be doing that at all. Uh, we won't be here long enough to justify doing it. Where are we looking? Is this that fake bookshelf that I was uh, talking about? No, it is not. Oh, I wish I remember this area more. Alchemist study. Is this the place we want to be? Is it? Maybe? There is a note here. Oh, we lost all of our notes as well. That's embarrassing. All right, we've just fallen on the ground. That sucks. And we're going to go through regardless of whether or not we're being stalked by some kind of demonic entity. Okay, good. We're doing fine. What's in here? Ah, the rest of the game. Okay, so we can't go in there just yet. We need to go all the way around. Nope, we need to go around here, don't we? Won't budge. Okay. I'm through here, and then I'm pretty sure we just hang this next right and ignore that room right there. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Just an old... Oh, right, this is where the uh, bad guy spawned. That was a series of weird sounds. Okay, another note there. Uh, probably going to ignore the notes from now on as well. Because they take a wee while. Okie dokie. Upper lounge. It looks like we're going into the upper lounge. Ooh. <laughs> if it crashes again, I will rage quit, by the way. That's always the downside of Iron Man playthroughs, isn't it? You are entirely at the mercy of the performance that the game developers put into the game in the first place. Anything in here? Nope. Just gap it to the end, I suppose. Won't budge. That's lucky. Keep on going, I suppose. What's in here? Uh, I don't think there was anything in here, actually. No, there's not. The objective is in here. What does taking the... Talking the piss. No, it's taking the piss. Taking the piss is like, you've got to be kidding me. But it's 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 a Kiwi thing. It's definitely a Kiwi uh, idiom. Nothing, nothing. Keep. Great. And now we can leave this entire area because there's nothing for us here. <laughs> Simple as that. We're just going straight home. Would you rather never need to drink or eat? Uh, probably... It depends. Are, are we, like, stuck out on the ocean? If we're stuck on the ocean, I'd probably choose drink. Because I could just eat whoever's with me. But it's hard to find water out in the ocean. Yep, this dickhead's in here as well. We're just going to ignore him. We're just going to go straight past his spawn. We don't particularly give two hoots about him. Uh, we want to come through here, and then we're going to go down this door right here. Yoink! Uh, we've got only a key. We don't even have a lamp yet. We don't even have a lamp yet! Actually, we are getting through this pretty quickly now. Very quickly indeed. God, it's... It's, it's such a, a bold and brazen choice as well. To... 
make a game a one-shot playthrough as well. Especially at Mod Makers. Because these are supposed to save us, right there. Those things are supposed to save the game. Why put them in the game if they don't save the game? Okay, we have to progress along here. There was nothing in that tiny little room. Casual cannibalism with Jensen. Yeah, well, I mean, like, cannibalism should be casual. It's much more disturbing when it's, um... How would you say it? Cannibalism is much worse if you uh, kind of make a ritual of it. But, like, Hannibal Lecter. Everybody loves Hannibal Lecter, don't they? Okay, we finally got a lantern. Locked. Uh, I think we're about to be raided. Probably is not ideal. What's in here? Is there anything in here? There is nothing in here. I'm literally just gonna take quick looks around, by the way. I'm not gonna ransack these rooms any more than I already have. Even for oil, we probably don't even need our lamp until we get back to where we were. Probably didn't even need to pick up that tinderbox either. Oh, what the hell? Why? I seem to remember there being oil in here. For some reason. Nope, just drugs. Okay, we're gonna need those drugs. Eventually. Uh, speaking of cannibalism, by the way, I have got another playthrough lined up. It's RimWorld. I play that game completely wrong. I play it differently to most people. I usually create like a, an advanced society of cannibals. Not to be confused with an advanced society of cannonballs. If I can be so blunt. All right, we're just gonna run through. Whatever is going to chase us can eat our dust. Oh, there it is. Hello. I'm just going to do a little rope dope around here with, the, with this dickhead. Whoop, there he is. <laughs> he jumped him. That's hilarious. Okay, we'll push on. Uh, probably want to go this way, right? Yay. Good. And what's next? Probably just the next zone. Excellent. He's not even chasing us anymore. RimWorld's fun, can't wait. RimWorld is so fun, isn't it? I love RimWorld. Probably one of my favorite games ever made. I've sunk thousands of hours into it too. It's just not even doing anything productive. Just kind of like making a colony and sticking with it. Okay, so now we're getting uh, into a little bit of a stupid spot where the, the motion of the mouse is actually sandbagging us. Play Deltarune first though. Oh, I won't be getting to RimWorld for a, for a few months yet. I've got such a big backlog. Of games that have been requested. I'm getting through them though, in these streams. I have been getting through uh, quite a significant portion of the smaller ones. The smaller games. Okay, we'll come in here, got this hammer. Good! So we're probably gonna be raided as soon as we pick up the item that's in here, aren't we? I don't think it's that no right there. Okay, nothing in here. Oh, this was just the answer to the to the lever puzzle at the end of the corridor, wasn't it? Which I actually remember the answer to. It won't budge. Seriously? You're joking, right? You're joking it won't budge. That's where we're supposed to go. Oh, right, yes. We need to interact with this thing here. And then I'm pretty sure that'll unlock after we hit that lever, maybe. Maybe that's progression that the the developer went for. Okay, good. So, is this open yet? No, it won't budge. Strange. Okay. Whoop. Never mind. It's open now. I can virtually guarantee it. Okay, let's try and hide in here in case we actually need to. We could probably also do with taking a painkiller, I think, because our heart is... Oh, no, we're, we're doing pretty good. It's just our sanity that's really taken a, a, an absolute beating. Okay, good. The door has been smashed down by some kind of unknown force, which is no longer here. Wonderful. Okay, so if I remember, down, up, down, down, up, down. And if this wasn't it, which it is, I got nothing else to say. I got no more to say. Okay, so now we can hit this lever and we can leave, right? All right, we're off.
Bora, pessoal. Okay, where are we now? Probably in the water monster area, right? Or not? Maybe we're just in the um, in the I'm tripping major balls on drugs area. Unfortunately, we actually kind of need this lamp, don't we? Okie dokie. Yep, I'm going through. Don't you worry. You don't have to tell me twice. Are there any pots of gold around the place? There's a tinderbox. Probably not going to use it, but I mean, it's better to have it than not. Okay, we're going down, down, in an earlier round. Uh, don't know if there is any enemies down here. There's some oil right here, thank the Lord. And now we're just going to gap it forward. Hopefully we're not going to get attacked by anything, but you never really know in these instances. Unless you've already played it before, which we have. Okay, so what's in here? There is nothing in here. There's another one of these little artifacts. I don't really hear too much about them. Right! I don't know what's going on! How much Zaza have I ingested? Too much! Too much Zaza! I've... I've ingested so much Zaza that they call me... They call me Zaza Finks! Misa Stone! Oops. Okay, good. I bet that was confusing to look at. Okay, and we also know the path out here. It is this box thrown perfectly into that area right there. I don't think there was anything over there worth doing. So we'll just gap it over here, I suppose. And we'll put this box. Okay, we'll take this box, which is slightly similar to the one we were intending to pick up anyway. We'll put it here. We'll jump up onto it. And now we're done. We are now done with the water monster, believe it or not. Splush! Victory splush. Victory smash my ankles open. To be fair, Justine was also a one-shot. That is true. That is absolutely true. Okay. So we don't want to go in there just yet. I think we are being chased. In here was the lever. Perfect. Oh my goddamn ears! This is so loud! You hear a ladder falling? Okay, wonderful. I'm going after the ladder! Don't eat me now! Okay, good. Speed running though, right? Come on! To be fair, Justin was also a one-shot that had dysfunctional saves for some ungodly reasons. True! Zaza is slang for weed, by the way. In what world does Za sound like weed? Wait, what happened to the devil's lettuce? I like that one. <laughs> Would you rather Dookie in public bathroom or the be the man of Zaza? I'd rather be the man of Zaza. That just sounds like, that just sounds like 100% profit. The Zabra. That's the thing, right? Weed has so many slang terms for it. Like so, so many slang terms. Oh, we're out of oil, apparently. That's weird. Oh, that's right. We left it on during a cutscene, so it uh, it used all of our oil through the cutscene. Iron Man mode. We are actively being sandbagged by the developer. Anything in here? No. Probably nothing in the desk either. Let's just carry on, my wayward son. There'll be peace when we are back at where we were in the first place. Okay, what's in here? Dick Diddley. Nothing in here. Okie dokie. Okay, we have to go in here next. Is there any reason we come in here next? No, not really. Staircase down here? Yep, staircase down here. Okay. We are so, so close to where we were as well, by the way. Oh, I remember this place. It was quite nice and relaxing up until that wind came in and farted us onto the ground. Oh, we can still move, that's fine. Alright. I'm happy with where we are now. We still have a little bit of oil, but we're probably not going to spend it, to be quite fair. I don't really see any oil around the place, though. Okay, making a hard left here. We're just following the wind. Following the revolting putrid smells 
of fart. Hello! I'm coming! Oh, he just slammed the door on us. That sucks. Uh, we have to go in here, don't we? Oh, my face. Up the staircase. <laughs> my here's a big owl stop ring out. Yeah, no, it's, 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 a, it's a thing, isn't it? It's a fact. Okay, we gotta go upstairs. We gotta do a bunch of risky parkour jumps. And then we can go down into that basement area where we may or may not crash again. We'll know if we crash again, though. Now, I'm pretty sure I actually remember the piano code and possibly even the library code. Okay, let's try this. Bazinga! Did it! Okay, we'll take that. And now we're gonna get it. Probably don't need to be in here much longer. Let's throw a chair through here. Let's grab this chair and we'll uh, continue along this really, really precarious causeway. Okay, not working. Not working. There we go. Great. We've got that wheel. Not particularly interested in it though. Okay, I still don't know what that sound is or why it's happening in here. But I think it's fine. Right, so the first one was statue. Was it here? No, it was over here, wasn't it? Here it is. Statue. And then middle. I can't remember where the middle book was. Probably on this side. Middle. And then Jesus. Over here, the Inri. Hello? This one here. And... Eagle. Legal Eagle! Boom! Nailed it! And now we've got a key. Excellent. The old archive key. Whew. Why do they knock on the window at 324? I have absolutely zero clue. I've got no idea why the monsters behave in this game the way that they behave. Do we just run? Do we just gap it to the end? That actually scared me. That it actually genuinely scared me. I don't hear him. Has he already left? Yes. Yes, he has. Catch me, Theodore! <laughs> I know he was in there. Okay, we just skipped a bunch of major uh, plot points, which is pretty funny. We probably could have taken that cylinder, but it's just going to clog up our inventory in the end anyway. Okay, we are now at the point at which we were at in the previous playthrough. Which is hopefully get down into this basement and don't crash. All right, everyone? Cross our fingers, cross our fingers. Cross our fingers. As the shadow took hold, the halls of the castle proud started to crumble. The Baron feared that soon the underground tunnels could not be reached by any other means than by a direct confrontation. We've got gameplay. Excellent. How's our inventory looking? We still actually have a lot of drugs. We're pretty good on health. We've got a quarter of a tank of oil, which is, uh, okay, I guess. All right. Let's stop playing like an absolute stupid shotgun ape and we'll uh, play with a bit more tact and caution. All right, what's in here? Doesn't really look like a lot. There's some sacks of potatoes. That's death. But so is that. Okay. No, no, don't look at it! Okay, we gotta go downstairs, and I imagine we also have to do some chemistry while we're down here too. While also avoiding some kind of patrolling goon. Maybe that's gonna be the, the thing. That's that's probably gonna be the thing that we are currently dealing with. Alright. Who or what is in here? Uh, appears to me to just be storage. Nothing really in here. Uh, there's a hidey hole with a nice poop bucket in here. That's good to know. It's too dark, I think. We are literally losing our marbles. Never mind, we found our marbles. Ah, it's fine. I thought there was something we had to interact with. Uh, what are we looking at? This place is in massive disarray as well. Ah, good. Chemist. 
chemistry. Oh no, are we missing the uh, the pot, the chemical pot? Oh, I think we are. Oh, we have to go back into the uh, the top place because I'm pretty sure that's where the chemistry pot was. All right, we'll do that right this second. You are the Scrooge McDuck of Zaza. <laughs> Don't look at the flesh wall, it's shy. Yeah, I know. You're, you're telling me. I looked at it and I had a panic attack. That is crazy shy. Okay, we've got to go back upstairs and I'm pretty sure that we need to go and find the chemistry pot back up here. Because we didn't pick it up. We didn't really pick anything up. I'm not entirely sure if Thick Thighs Theo is still going to be up here. Or even if he's going to want to spank us. We're about to find out after this loading screen. I'm sus. Well, I'm not sus, but I, I'm suspicious. Okay, if Theo's out here, we've still got two bundles of drugs that we can take. Nothing in there. The chemistry pot was in here, right? Ah, oh, more drugs, nice. Great, and a letter that we don't particularly care about. Or was it like down in the water monster lair? Okay, that was really, really not good. Okay, in here we got the cylinder, which we're not even going to bother use. The Liberari, I don't think the chemistry pot's got to be in here, right? Do you know why Rambly the Raccoon loves Rambly's Railroad? Uh, yeah, I do. He has a little bit of control over it, unlike every other aspect of his life, which is, uh... Sad to say. It's really, it's really sad. It's sad that Rambly has fallen from such grace. Because from memory, he used to be pretty good. Such a broken glass in there. Nothing in here. I think we actually have to go back into the water monster's lair. I think that's actually where the chemistry pot was. I'm gonna do it. Flesh wall blushes cutely. <laughs> Ooh woo, squelch the meat wall. <laughs> Notices bulge. Oh, I noticed that bulge. <laughs> Sexualizing the shadow of amnesia. Oh, that's something I didn't, I never thought my life would ever end up being at. I'm gonna jump over here. A little bit of a, you wanna see a 360? Whoop, there you go. That was probably really confusing to watch, right? Cause I like trains. He does like trains, that's right. Wait a minute. The pot was supposed to be back there, right? The chemistry pot was supposed to be back in that area? Oh no! I think the speedrunning may have cost us the game. I think we just got soft locked. I was in the pool and a balloon floated up above the land and landed in the field next to us. What, like now? What are you doing in the pool with a, with a stream going on? It's like Toaster Bath 101. So there's one thing that we need. We need this chemistry pot, but I have no idea where this thing could possibly be. Old archive. So we can't go in there because we need a key, which we actually... Oh! Well, I'm pretty sure this is going to solve all of our problems, right? There it is. Hey, thick thighs, Theo! I hope he's still... Oh, piss. Oh, well, I guess uh, we'll have to play Deltarune. Everyone's got to play Deltarune at some point, right? It's like a... It's like... It's a rite of passage? Oh, you're not in the pool. Okay, that's good to hear. Okay, Theo's probably around. Or is he? Theo? Oh, not unless he's uh, gained, like, S-tier uh, stealth, right? Right, so we've exchanged the key for the chemistry pot, and now we can go downstairs and possibly have our rumps eaten by something. Oh no, there's meat everywhere! Blushes. Ooh woo bulge right there. Get away from that crap. Yuck. Yuck, the last thing we need the shadow to be is a furry. A 
It's, it's just like the cherry on the on the death cake of amnesia. Flesh Wall Chan places an envelope near <laughs> and runs away nervously. <laughs> no, don't react to my social advances. It's too embarrassing. Okay, we have to go down there, right? Because the uh, the meat has blocked off that wall right there. Okie dokie then. Woo. Piss. Who said that? Who actually just did a, a guttural oo <laughs> Oh, piss on my dick! There's nowhere to go. Is he chasing us? I think he's chasing us. Okay, I be hopped around him. I'm actually just gonna leave this area and come. What the hell? Are you serious? I think that he actually got a good spanking on us. I also think that if we leave and go back in, he won't be here anymore. It's just a theory though. It's just a theory. A game theory. How could anyone just not do that? How could anyone not do the voice? Okay, we were chased and now we are deflowered. That was such an obscure choke. <laughs> Congratulations to the one person in the future who's gonna understand that. Okay, so is Thick Thighs Theo just like constantly patrolling? That's my next question. We've got Lord in them. We, we could probably actually just run around and figure it out ourselves. So we actually move slowly on these stairs and Thick Thighs Theo does not. So we have to take this into consideration when we're running around. Okay, good, he's not here. Fleshwall asks you on a date to McDonald's. Man, you are literally quoting my childhood now. I grew up in like the golden age of PewDiePie, by the way. Okay, chemistry pot is now filled with acid. Great, now we can trip more balls. Yeah, and no, when I was a kid, everybody was so insecure, like super, super, super insecure. I don't think it's the case now because now with the internet, everybody can communicate and everybody validates each other. But back when I was a kid in school, uh, basically, if there was something that made you insecure, then you just literally had to do your best to hide that. Uh, great. Cutely pulsates. Ooh woo. Why do I hear dogs down here? This is the last place to keep a dog. Hello? What's going on? Are we being raided? Is that the raid sound? Nice oil. You killed Fleesh Wall Chan? No, I honestly think it's fine. I don't think anyone's gonna miss it. Okay, I'm pushing on. There's some moldy bread in here and also a rotting pig, which is uh, probably not exactly what we want, but it's nice that it's here. What? Okay, we're having a panic attack. And we're over it. It's fine. Alright, where are we? We are down in the famous cellar. Okay, we need a lever of some sort. I imagine it's one of the ones we pick up as well. But otherwise, it'd be one of those kind of like carry switch handle things. What the hell was that? Hello? 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 Oh my god! The meat just spanked me. That is not cash money at all. It's really not cash money. get this flesh wall cries cutely i am the flesh wall now i am now the flesh wall uh, can we spank our hog while we're on the floor yeah we can nice but let's give that a couple of spanks just for just for good measure it won't budge apparently now i'm pretty sure i heard some kind wow wow 
The meat is costing us all of our laudanum. We didn't have a lot of it when we came down here for the first time either, though. Okay, probably can't go that way. That way looks pretty much sealed shut by meat. I don't even know what's hurting us, to be honest. I didn't get it in the base game. I don't get it now either. Okay, let's try this way. Or is this the way that we came from? No, this is definitely not the way we came from. Hey, would you look at that? A lever. Are we about to be raided? Did that trigger a raid? It may have done. There it is. Great. We're actually in a much better place than I thought. You, no way. No way. You are taking the piss. Oh, I probably could have shut him out actually just by um, hitting that lever. Uh, oh no. Oh no. That one just says three. Oh no. Are we going to be chased down here? Okay, let's actually start ransacking again because we're pretty low on items we need. I'm going to light that. Very nice, very nice. What's in here? Seems like a storeroom of some sort. Flesh wall sadness hurts me. Uh, well, maybe it's the biggest regret that I have in this game so far. Does this end? Yes. Okay, we got some drugs in here. Just making sure we had a way out. There's a hole in the wall in here as well, unfortunately. Oh, uh, I don't want to go down there. I'm just going to come out and say it. I don't actually want to go down there. Oh, there's a giant blood stain down there. Why the hell would anyone go down there? What the hell happened there? Who knows? Okay. So, we've got an out now. We've actually got a way out. Won't budge. Great. We're not being attacked. We're not being raided. We've got some tinderboxes here, that's fine. The Zaza in there. Honestly, the thing that keeps chasing us, I'm afraid, is, is too hard on the Zaza. Oh, this one's just marked two. It's a heavy gate. Probably needs... Do we just run out of oil? Oh, we did. Piss. Okay, we're gonna have to, like, flick our torch on and off now. Just to be able to see, which is a little obnoxious, but I'll do it. Alright, we're looking for two more, like, fuse things, right? Hello? Hello? I hate this. I am loathsome for this encounter. That's bad. That's a big bad thing. Okay, let's not go anywhere near that. Uh, oh, great. Here's another one of these. Ah, uh, fuel rod. That's what they're called. Okay. Ah! Why? Who? Flesh wall flexes Zaza cutely. How do you, how do you flex Zaza cutely? I'm just looking around for monsters. I don't see any. Unless that door's about to be beaten down. Oh piss! Oh piss! Oh piss! Oh piss! Oh piss! That's exactly what I was afraid of. Oh hey, big guys, Theo is in the building. No way. There is no shot there's two of them in here. Oh no! Oh, this is bad! Bad news! Big bad news. Okay, let's open this up. Take a peek, take a peek. A little peek. All right, now we are locked in here with Thick Thighs Theo. Okay, I'm being harmed. By the meat. Is it just because I was standing on it? It's such poppycock. Okay, I'm gonna insert another one of these fuel rod thingies. Where the hell did we put them? Were they in here? Maybe? I don't see the panel. Yes, I do. It's right here. Okay. So, let's put this red fuel rod in here. Yep, I had a sneaky suspicion we had to go through here before we can go out the third gate. And we're probably actually going to be chased out of the third gate as well. Uh, that's even worse. There is another door just over here that may box us in. 
Okay, we're gonna go in anyway. Flesh wall shoves Zaza down throat cutely. You're missing like you're missing the ad for the uh, for the artisanal coffee and such. That's what those guys are famous for, right? Like hipster types, stoner hipsters. I can't think of any other type of person that would say Zaza. Ah, okay, we are now stuck in here. Hopefully not permanently. There is a gear. Gear is uh, slang for a drug here in New Zealand. Okay, I did a throw. Oh, that was easy. What's up here? Oh, is this like the? Is this supposed to be the the medieval equivalent of a um a ventilation shaft? Because I already hate it. Oh hush. Well, at least I know we can't get attacked up here because it's too tight. I assume. I had to assume. Oh, someone used to read up here. The hell is that sound? It's a cute little reading nook. I thought it was somewhere where we could die, but it seems as though that's not the case at all. All right, I still hear some monsters. Some curdled screamings of the damned. Down here. Hello? Hello? Ah, oh, back out here. Wonderful. Flesh wall beats you to death cutely. Ooh woo. Ooh woo indeed. Okay. Big Thighs Theo is uh, patrolling. He's patrolling. I'm hating. Is he actually going to piss off, though? That's my next question. Okay, that's not Thick Thighs Theo. That is, in fact, not Thick Thighs Theo. That is Dimwit Daryl. I recognize that booty from a mile away. That skinny-ass booty. Do we just wait for him to leave? Okay, he's coming in. He's probably going to come over to this little, uh, hole right here. Daryl? Oh, there he is. I don't know what to do! I don't know if we're supposed to, like, trap him in that, uh, next room. Or if we're just supposed to gap it. But he can one-hit us. So that's not amazing. And we also take damage on the meat as well, so we're gonna have to be very tactical about this. I don't remember a single closet to hide in. Whatsoever. In fact, I don't think there is a closet to hide in. I'm just gonna peek him. I'm gonna peek him. Where is he? We could probably actually... Okay. I have a big penis play to make. I just need to know where Dimwit Daryl is. You guys are gonna love this, by the way. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. Where is he? Where is that dunce? Okay, so here's my play. Fuel rod out. We run, we run, we run, we run, we run, we run, we run. We jam it in. The door opens. We go. Ow! Meat! Meat! We didn't need to do the play. The engineers didn't understand why did the Shadow want to actively take control of the machinery. It didn't take long before the site became too dangerous and was quickly abandoned. So the play was going to be to go in there, jam the fuel rod into the machine, run back into that room with the ladder, fall down the hole, do a 180 and then grab onto the ladder so we uh, negate fall damage. But we didn't have to do that whatsoever because Dimwit Daryl didn't even see us coming. Like a camouflage condom. Won't budge. Okay. What's in here? Absolutely nothing! Nothing's around here. Okay, someone already smashed that display case for us, which is pretty good of them. Let's take this uh, helmet just in case we need to wear it ourselves. Head flip! Ow! Okay, I think I just broke my nose. Anything behind here? No. Anything behind here? No, why is this one heavier than that? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Still coming on through. We should be up to chapter three in a hot minute, right? 
I love the elevator. I love the Amnesia elevator so much. Did it! It feels good. We survived. We didn't use any health potions. We didn't use any... Oh, no. That's not good. Why is it grinding? This is probably the stealthiest way down, right? Oh, no. Really? Yeah? Isn't a great place to stop. Uh. Oh no. Okay, I went to go hide, but I don't think he's. E what? What's going on? Okay. I can't jump. I can't jump unless I jump. It's Please don't tell me that that was it. Why was I taking damage inside of the elevator? I posted something in the chat hub. I'll get to it after I uh, get through this. Okay, so there's no escape, right? Something's just smacking us from above. What the hell is going on? Why am I being attacked from that side? What? I'm so lost. Do I just have to jam the lever up and down a bunch? No, it won't budge. Uh, do I jump? Is there actually any way of doing this? Okay. Okay, I jammed the lever up and down again, and I broke the elevator. Oh, that's all meat. The men had finally arrived on the bottom floor. The shadows were already closing in. It wouldn't have been long until they were finally safe. There was no turning back now. Men? I just needed help for my murdered wife! Why am I here?! I needed assistance! Not a grand adventure! My wife is dead! Or is this just how I fill the time? Okay, elevator is not looking so hot. Neither is that side path. Okay, that's fine. Still have our lamp, that's good. What else do we have? We've got one, we've got one laudanum, which we will take right now. And we still have this chemistry pot. Our health is looking pretty good. And I'm pretty sure this is now chapter three. Hello? Barrel, good, a hiding place. One with the barrel, one with the barrel, one with the barrel, one with the barrel. We'll have to be one with the barrel. You know what I mean? Are we all on the same page here? One with the barrel? One with the barrel? One with the barrel? Headlock is in excellent condition. Well, let's get some acid or something like that. One with the barrel. But one with the barrel. One with the barrel. No one will see us coming. One with the barrel. One with the barrel. One with the barrel. It's locked. One with the barrel. One with the barrel. One with the barrel. I know we can't see a hell of a lot, but we are, in fact, a barrel. And barrels don't have eyes, so thematically, we're in a... Pretty, pretty good spot. Laudanum oil, excellent. Ah, there's an arm here. Good, I thought I was gonna be attacked in this room, but it turns out this room is completely armless. When arriving to the underground tunnels, the shadow suddenly appeared around us, ambushing us. We were trapped, and I felt how the darkness started to consume me. That was when I heard her voice once again. Ophelia was calling for me. I knew I had to endure if I ever wish to see her again. Suddenly, the hallways lit up with a greenish blue light. It's called Turquoise! An astonishing spectacle in the process. Turquoise! When I looked around, the shadow had suddenly disappeared. That was when I met Andre Macias, the leader of the hidden fortress, the mystical man. He carried the cold flame of Boreas with him and used it to fight the shadow. He had been expecting us. Okay. That taught us nothing. In fact, that just sought to confuse us further. No way. On the barrel. On the barrel. On the barrel. There's nothing down here. On the barrel. On the barrel. On 
with the barrel. One with the barrel. We are one with the barrel. One with the barrel. One with the barrel. One with the barrel. We are one with the barrel. One with the barrel. One with the barrel. Looks like my wife's killer has returned. I need to tread carefully. One with the barrel. 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 Dialogue's a bit boring. Flexes. I wasn't bored. I was just, I was just checking myself out. I was just making sure that I look good enough to be on the big screen. Which I do. Oh, that was nice. Somebody opened this door up for us. However, the mouse acceleration issue is back and I uh, can't see properly. Okay. Nothing really down here. Oh, I see the greenish blue flame, also known as turquoise. It's already an established color. You don't have to describe the color further. Okay. I don't see a hell of a lot. There's two paths that we can go down. One of it is complete darkness and the other one is down a staircase, but it's illuminated. So, naturally, we're going to the dark route. It's what I know best. Oh no, why? Oh, I see there's meat in here and that's why I'm having a panic attack. All right, down the stairs we go. No, I'm not bored by it. Um, the, the dialogue doesn't bore me. I just get really surprised whenever I'm playing like a, a mod, any kind of mod in any kind of game, and then I hear voice acting because that is above and beyond the Call of Duty. Flash wall! Yeah, I know, right? Gets your, gets your heart rate way up there. Hello? Is there gonna be something down here? Cross our path maybe? Like in the amnesia base game? No. No, Justine. That happened in Justine. Wait, is this the same map from Justine? That's a torture room. That's lovely. Uh, love that about... Okay, there's a naked man here. There's signs of torture on the deceased body, but the cause of death is not apparent. Gregory's last note. If you find this, get as quickly to the surface as you can. The Baron has to know. We are being attacked and we need every single available man here right now. I was separated from the rest of my group. I know the attackers are still looking for me. I cannot leave. But he was tortured. How did he write that down if he was being tortured? Nope, nothing up there. Okay. We found a tinder box and... Piss, 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 piss! No! No! Well, that worked out well. So, are we just seeing, like... Visions of our wife's killer because we are uh, I hear sounds because we're traumatized Are we making the threat up in our brain? Is that what's going on? Ooh, tinder box. Nice So many tinder matches Good god. I know a lot of people who would pay good money for my tinder matches I'm going this way. I'm hiding here. I'm hiding here. We're one with the barrel. 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 We're one with the barrel. One with the barrel. One with the barrel. We're one with the barrel. We're one with the barrel. One with the barrel. We are the barrel. We are the barrel. We've realized our existence. It is the barrel. We are 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 the barrel. That's why we're crunching and creaking so much. Because we're made of wood. Okay, I'm running on down now. So what was in here? Other than this sideways locker. Oh, piss on that. Where's the door? Oh, we busted it down. Good for him. Uh, so since he's not in here, we can probably just start ransacking the place, right? Ah, more... Crap to fill up with this chemistry pot. What's this oil? Yes, that is value. Anything else? Yes, a tinder box, a single tinder box. Not really anything else. Is he gonna come back down, do we think? He did not. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, we're in a pretty good place now. Uh, we could probably start corroding that lock with this with this poisonous, vile concoction that we've just discovered. Uh, it's always worth checking in those holes in the walls, because a lot of people tend to hide things in them, it seems. What's in here? No! Bro! 
box! Okay, what about in here? I have to get rid of that lock. Well, how about this gigantic pot of acid? The acid went into the padlock. Now I should be able to break it with the right tool. Uh, brain. Heart. Uh, do we just smack it off with this chemistry pot? No. What if we find some kind of rock? What if, what if there's like a, a rock or something and we have to throw that at it? The hell is that sound? Hello? Weird. Rock? Rock, please? No. Rock! I'll settle for Dwayne the Rock Johnson! Or Dwayne the Rock's Johnson! Either or works pretty well in this situation, I'd say. Very solid. Very effective. Let's use the box. Oh, that didn't do it. What if we just try it again? No. Okay, so the box is not hard enough. Oh, we just ran out of oil piss. No, we didn't. We've got plenty. It's your tool. Yeah, well, uh, you know, it can be used as a tool. Every, anything can be a tool if you use it right. For example, last night I was wedging open a chest using a chair so I could get inside, even though it was actually locked. So technically in that moment, the chair was a tool. All right, we're gonna need like, what, do we just need like another jug of acid? Wait, did I just sequence break with this? How about this hard ass bread? No, probably not. Okay, so probably just find some kind of item if a box isn't sturdy enough to break the lock off. Probably don't need this one all the time either. Right around here. Nothing really that we can use, is there? Okay, then. Well, come on back down. I mean, if this guy's not using it, we could probably just rip his tool off and use it. Maybe not. Maybe that's just uh, desecration. It's just tasteless desecration of a of a dead body. Hard to tell sometimes, though. Maybe we have to go up here. All right, I see nobody. I see nobody up here. Wait, what? Is this a new area? Have we been up here? Oh, that's right, the wall of meat. Yes, 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 I remember, I remember, I remember. Uh, can we put acid on these bars? No? Okay. Probably would've worked, probably would've worked. So we need an actual tool, don't we? Which we may not find all the way back here in the elevator room. Oh, this isn't all the way back in the elevator room. This is different. Have we been this way? Yes, this is the elevator room. What's in there? Nothing. Okie dokie. Go compliment the flesh wall. I'll give it a compliment next time I see it. I won't go out of my way to compliment the flesh wall on account of it being made of flesh, but uh, we'll, we'll, make a, we'll make a conscious effort to, to tell it that it looks nice and to have a nice day and all that such. I don't know what it means by tool. Does it just mean something heavier than a box? Okay, that's locked. What if we pour acid all over it? No. Okay, kind of stuck. Kind of stuck here. We just need to find a single tool. Maybe it's... Maybe it's in the flesh wall. That's sus. Huh. Hello there, flesh wall. You are looking absolutely visceral today. Uh, have you seen a tool anywhere that we could potentially use to... Uh, I blushed it away. Let's just ignore the fact that uh, we had to use acid on it, and we'll we'll just we'll just say that we we flattered it away. Why would there be a murderer on this side? Oh God! Ah, it's it's viscera is uh, incredibly noisy. Do we need more acid? I see a lock over there. Oh, chipper! Actually, that's a chisel. A cold chisel. Uh, okay. That was weird. The padlock is in excellent condition. Okay, we need to go and find that jug of acid again! While everything around us screams. Okay, we'll put that there. I think stepping on the meat is actually really bad for us. Yep, definitely really bad for us. 
Let's just go around it. I think around is probably best. We're doing good. So where was the acid? Because we obviously need another jug of it to get through that. Whoop. Is someone coming in? Oh, we are not doing so well. That's okay, we got drugs. Uh. Oh, piss! No! He sees us! I'm running! I'm running away! Okay, I'm going down here. Piss off! <laughs> I'm pretty sure the acid is down here because I'm following the little green dots on the ground. I can't believe that actually worked. Is he going to try to bust the wall down, maybe? Who knows? Who cares? Okay, we now have a chisel, which is probably actually the tool that we needed to bust down the thing that we needed to bust down. Okay. Is he coming down here? No, I don't think so. I think he's too stupid. I think it's too stupid to realize that we slammed the door on his face and came down that way. Speaking of too stupid though, where could he be? Okay, we need to go up this way, right? Oh, he's not here. I bet he despawned. I bet he despawned. He's probably gone. He's probably gone for a walk. Probably gone walkies. Okay, so that's not where we want to go to. There's meat here blocking our path. So, we're probably actually going to need to knock off a different lock, aren't we? Okay, I don't think it's in here. Is this the... What are we supposed to use it? Here, maybe? It's locked? Maybe this uh, chisel? No. How about this acid? No. Up there is the kind of kitcheny area, I suppose you could call this. Okay, so where was that lock that we weakened before? Was it through here? No, that's the elevator room. Our mind is not in a very good place, actually. We're in very, very nasty bouts of disarray. We're a little bit disheveled. We're a little bit hurt. We're probably bleeding. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Can't go through there. Well, we could go through there, but as soon as I think we pick up the jug of acid, this despawns. We could probably actually check it out. Just if we come in here, we compliment it. Say, hello there, Viscera, you're looking great. There's no use going back, okay. We got the thing needed, so we don't need to go through there. Even though there was a door with a padlock on it right at the end. Hello? Dimwit Daryl? Okay, we need to bust this open. Let's pour some acid on it. Already done, and we'll also use this on it. Uh, yeah, good. Open. Thanks. What's in here? In fact, let's close ourselves in here. Probably need to. I see nothing. I hear a monster. And I think I also hear a bunch of weird-ass items bouncing around the place, too. Good. We're on the other side of this uh, cage right here with some very creepy bones and we've got this chair as well. Which we could probably throw it. Never mind. I just threw it onto the ground. I accidentally clicked the right mouse. What the hell is that? What is that? Oh, it's just fog. I was wondering what that was in the darkness. Okay, there's a door in there. We probably have to solve some kind of puzzle through here if that's the case. Yep, probably have to knock this up. Why is... I have to pull my mouse sideways for this to go upwards. It doesn't make any sense. I'm running! I'm running! Who's making that sound? Who here needs to clear their throat? Who needs a strepsil? Okay, I'm going this way first. For once in... What the... No! I knew taking the illuminated path was going to bite me in the bum hole. Oh, no, that opens inwards. Don't kill me! Okay, I didn't see it. 
We're in. We're in. The chilling flames around the cathedral had stopped the shadow in his tracks. The flames looked all too familiar to him. He knew he had come to the right place. Ooh, that was sweaty. That was a little bit sweaty. Chapter 3, Occultus Castellum. I don't remember what Castellum means, but Occultus speaks for itself. A lot of glyphs on the floor here. Alright, so we're in the third chapter now. I'm home! Oh great, there's a bunch of naked men here, holding their pizzles. It's freezing cold in there. How's that possible? Well, there was dialogue that said that those flames were cold, so that's probably got something to do with it. Okay, what else is there? Any goodies behind these pillars? No, there never really is, is there? Okay, I'm gonna go around. There's a bunch of desks, actually. And that door is open. Also a little bit suspicious. Okay, there's nothing to loot, which kind of sucks. Some sort of ceremonial texts. Okay, a bunch of glyphs. What's in here? I bet this isn't like a big area of its own making. I bet this is just kind of like its own closed off little ecosystem. Storeroom! Okay, I found a box. I found a, a red stencil frame. The defense gains the shadow. <laughs> gains the shadow. The flame of Boreas turned out to be more effective in the fight against the shadow. Against the shadow than we had originally thought. Use it sparingly. We do not have enough combustionite flame matter to spread it in every corner of the fortress. We need to flame guard the most important areas of the halls, including the entrance of the cathedral and the cipher, our most valuable tool in the fight against the shadow. Andre Macias. Okay, apparently these people were expecting the shadow, but something must have gone wrong. The meat is the shadow, you moron! Read the room! Oh, this just gets bigger and bigger. Uh, I hate these curtains, actually. There's another one of these little doodads, which we haven't touched in this entire playthrough yet. Training Francis Harmon for the confrontation with the Shadow has gone poorly. Although much physical preparation has been made, it seems the focus of his mind is not where it should be. If we cannot control him, all might be lost. Oh, is that all that's in here? I hear some Gregorian chanting going on in the background. Very cash money. It's, it's quite bougie to have Gregorian chanters in your house these days. And also a very, very bold decision, too. What's this? It looks like a small memorial site. Yep. What is that? Um, Stalin? No. Marx? There's Justine there. And there's a cross here. Not anymore! Wow, that cross was loud. What's through here, then? Another door! Hello? That's Justine. Okay. I'm enjoying the vibes of this area. There's a book. There's another stencil. Yellow stencil frame. Whatever that means. Ah, they were, um... Torturing people. A bit too grim for my taste. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. Visions of death or suffering. Yep. Quite possibly. I think it's Fabergé egg. Break it. Why not? What's the harm? Why not? Hate this. Get that helmet off. Hate that too. Good. Hate that. Is this supposed to be kind of like Justine's... The area of Justine in her heyday. Give that guy a little bit of privacy. Whatever he's doing in there, I don't want to be a part of it. Well, do I want to be a part of this? What is this? Oh, it's just a single cross. Okay. Good to know. I'm taking the cross back. I think I heard some kind of ghost. Receptaculum Eskim. A heavy gate. Okay. Well, we tried to use the cross on it. It just wouldn't function. Now, I assume in here that that is not actually a man. I assume it's a mannequin. Which I suppose is a type of man, but it's it's kind of like a, a subsidiary of a mannequin. Alright, I don't know what this lever does. It doesn't do anything. Pulling this lever does nothing. I must be missing something. Probably, realistically, have to put colours in here, right? So, yellow, blue, probably blue and green. 
you insert the frame into the projector so that one's blue and if this one is green then we get the kind of like turquoise color that everybody keeps talking about i think that's going to be the answer but until i figure it out we're going to need another frame of some sort which we'll probably actually find if in this last little area up there up there that we didn't explore okay Hello there, ma'am. Lovely bazingas you have. Do you know where I may find a green stencil of some sort? Maybe behind you? Or in you? I'll just touch your legs! The cold flame of Boreas burns. The shadow cannot enter this place. That's... I don't care. I literally do not care. Alright, we've got red candles everywhere. I don't know if that's going to be telling. We've got yellow candles everywhere, also telling. And also, we've got blue flames everywhere. Probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We did scour this place, right? We found one in here. We definitely found one in here. It was on that desk right there. And in here. We didn't really look around in here. There might be a frame in here. Or there might not be. There's only really one way of knowing. Uh, there's a portrait of Alexander. Oh! Did I move this? No, I think I just moved the helmet. What about this portrait? Nope, looks good to me. Okay, we'll get this helmet. We'll start banging things around, I think. Uh, that's nothing, it seems. There's a giant eagle over here, maybe behind it? No. Nope, there appears to be nothing of value. Yep, don't immediately see anything in here either. There's probably got to be another frame out in this direction here, right? Unless the answer is literally just the the blue and the yellow slide to make green. Nothing here. Nothing there. Nothing. Nothing anywhere. I'll have one last look through here before I just start randomly trying colors out for no reason. Okay, this thing is probably the answer, right? Although much physical preparation has been made, it says the focus of his mind is not where it should be. Okay, that gives us nothing. Gives us nothing. Literally gives us nothing. And through here, there was only one little doodad to take, I think. Look, got a little beetle on the screen right there. That's uh, gross. Very gross indeed. Or through here. Nothing. Fine by me. Okay, well, push on forward. And I think maybe the answer is going to be to start possibly brute forcing. I don't want to. Wait, was there anything else back here? I'm pretty sure this was fairly final, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very final. Okay, so through here. I think we've got everything that we need. We basically just need to mix and match things until we get something good. Okay, so here and in through here. Unless this is the guy that they're talking about and his mind is not where it should be. He's looking at her. She's looking at him. He is looking weirdly at this pillar. Where's she looking? She's looking up in the rafters. Anything up in the rafters? No, there's nothing up in the rafters. No, there's nothing over here. The paintings are a bust. Okay, I think we've got everything that we might need to solve this. So maybe we try yellow? Make green? Yeah? How's that? Pulling this lever does nothing. I must be missing something. The screen has turned green. You don't say. You don't say, my dude. Chapter 2. The Sacred War and Birth of the Empire. Okay, weird. Chapter 6. Two Kingdoms into the Fall of Time. Chapter 5. Assyria and the Age of Sacrilege. Chapter 1. The Reign of Malahal. What the hell is that? I don't really see anything else. What about this painting? Nope, just that guy spanking his, uh, his cow. And good on him. What is that? Is that a book? Is that a book? Yep, that's definitely a book. Can we make little shadows with it? No. And we definitely can't hit that either. So, this guy right here has his puzzle out, but we kind of... At the same time, we... <clears throat> we don't know what we're doing, do we? So there's a purple flame in here. What about yellow? Does yellow do anything? 
Pulling this lever does nothing. I must be missing something. Right. Right, right indeed. Righty ho. Is there a false book somewhere? The answer's gotta be between the paintings, right? There's a clipping text right there. That makes no sense. Nope, nothing there. Okay, so we're looking at a pretty confusing spot now. And I am not willing to go and look up a guide because the last time I did that, there was no support anywhere. Oh, that was a sturdy bottle, actually. Anything behind here? No. I don't really see anything we could use, necessarily. There's a gramophone here. The phonograph appears to be broken. What if we jam it? Whoops. I thought we still had that chisel, but we don't. Okie dokie. What if I hit the gramophone with this? I almost got a slam dunk, but unfortunately it didn't do anything. Anything behind here? No. Okay, so we probably have to expand our horizons a little bit more than what we already have, which means probably doing some more explanations outside of that room right there. Not explanations, investigations. We need to investigate. Some candles. A bunch of pepperous. A bunch of crap, really. Crapperous. I don't know if the symbols are like a clue. I wouldn't say that they are. That's the storeroom we've been in there. This is just that room that says that Watson Madoodle's mind is not in the right place. Nothing up there. Anything behind this pillar? No, absolutely nothing. What about behind here? No, nothing. And we definitely can't go into these curtained off areas. No, we can't. I don't actually see anything on the other side of these curtains anyway. Except for this one, I see a giant eagle statue. What is that? Does. I hear notes. I hear music in the background. Be kind of like, um... Yeah, uh, yep, that's what I hear. So what, do we just have to keep touching this lady's bazingas, maybe? No, we've already touched as much as we can. She stopped us at the calf. I suppose it's okay, I guess. I'm looking around, I'm really not seeing any clues here. At least we can like open some of these curtains, which we cannot. No. Can we take any of these things? No. What's this? Nothing. Nothing of note. Right, so. What if we start mixing it with the pot of acid? Nothing? Okay. Can't mix the red and blue together to make purple. Okay, so there's probably actually something in here additional that we have to investigate. What is this? I don't really see anything. One, five, two, four, six, two... Four. One five six two four. One five six two four. Oh wait! I think I know. Okay, so this one is one, and these have numbers on them, don't they? Yeah, right here, blue. So if we put that in there, and then we hit the lever, one. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, five would be a mix of two and three. Three and two. We jam this down. Boop. No, nothing. The glowing lights just disappeared. It seems I need to figure out the right order of colors. Okay, uh, this is orange, right? The screen is turned orange. All right, yellow, red. So what we need is blue. Number one. This is first. Blue's first. I don't know if I should be writing this down. But, uh, let's see... What else there is? Because there is a six right here, and the six is... is very weird, isn't it? Although, with three panels, we can only mix them twice. There are six possible uh, combinations with them, right? So that's the reign of Malahel. I'm just going to write down the colours that I find. Maybe we can kind of brute force through them. Blue. 
Let's try maybe green next. Maybe green is the answer for next. Blue, green. Nope, that was not the answer. Okay. Damn this one down here. As long as we get the first two, we get the kind of... The mindset of what we're supposed to be doing. Let's try red next. So, purple. Blue, purple. Anything? Yes! Blue, purple. Purple. Blue, purple! So, with blue, then purple, I assume we need to take blue out next. Alright, let's, let's look for the correlation. So, chapter 1, the reign of Melhel. Chapter 5, Assyria, an age of sacrilege. I don't understand what connection this could possibly have, though. Alright, let's try red next. That was a hard no. Okay. Got the red. I think it's literally going to be a puzzle of attrition. Blue. And then purple is blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Whoops! Oh, that's green. Whoops. Okay, so... Blue is one, right? And this is chapter one, so that kind of makes sense. So blue is number one. The second chapter is five. So that's purple, which is red and blue, isn't it? Yep. Which is weird, because uh, with these little numbers down at the bottom here, that would actually not equate to five, that would equate to three. So chapter five is equal to three. I still don't see the correlation there. So we've used blue and purple. We probably won't be using that color again. Maybe we try yellow. Just yellow. Or does this give us any clue? Chapter four, two kingdoms and the fall of time. No, there aren't actually any clues whatsoever in this. Sorry, chapter six, two kingdoms and the fall of time. Two kingdoms and the fall of time. I'll try yellow. Nothing, okay. Maybe that's not the answer at all. Blue first. This might be a uh, a puzzle of attrition, to be quite honest. Blue, purple. Great, so we tried yellow, we tried orange. Let's try red, we'll try the base colors. Yep. Boop. Anything? Nope. Okay. So it's none of the base colors. Blue. Oh, blue's first. And blue and not yellow. Blue and red right here. Good. We jam this down. I actually don't see anything that would indicate colors in any part of this area. Blue and red. Unless there's like a... Well, we've got blue and purple, right? So, maybe there is actually a kind of a key around the place. I mean, there's obviously the colors blue, yellow, and red all over, just scattered all over the place. But I'm not entirely sure they're actually relevant to what we're doing here. Okay, we're probably just going to have to brute force it. It seems like one of those puzzles, doesn't it? I doubt they're going to make us use the same color twice. That wouldn't really make a lot of sense to me. So blue, purple, let's try... Green? No! Let's try the other one. Let's try uh, orange. Come on, man, use the yellow stencil frame on the projector. What are you doing? Orange. Nothing. Okay. This might be a frustrating puzzle. I literally do not see anywhere that could tell us what kind of color we're supposed to be going for. Okay, blue first. One. And then 
blue and red, a purple, two. Uh, okay, so let's try yellows now. Yellow and blue. Maybe green is third? Yep, green is third. Write that bad boy down. I don't see any correlation. I, there's literally no way that I could kind of... Yeah, there's no color code around here. That, it doesn't make sense. So weird. Okay, so it's just a brute force thing. Chapter 2, the sacred war and birth of an empire. The sacred war and birth of an empire. Two kingdoms in the fall of time. That's been a combination for green. Syria and the age of sacrilege. That's also been a combination. This one here is the reign of Malahel, which is a single. It's blue. I don't see anything that would indicate that it's supposed to be blue. Sacrilege is purple. Weird. Two kingdoms in the fall of time is green. The sacred war and birth of an empire. Okay. Empire and kingdoms would be pretty similar, so... One of these colors from green has to go into this next one. Sacred war and birth of an empire. Probably got to be red, right? Just red. Birth. Birth is, is bloody. Okay, that is so abstract. And this last one here. The vision of Ishradan. i write down red real quick. Okay, now we can brute force this last one. Because they haven't actually been repeating. Uh, blue, red. So we've used blue, purple, green, and red. We haven't used yellow. We've not used yellow. It was not yellow. Okay. Blue first. One. Red next. Two. Green next, which is blue and yellow. Whoops, didn't need to take that blue. Yellow and green. Here we go. Boom. There's the third one and the last one we got was red, just red. So, if it's not yellow, it would, by process of elimination, assuming none of them repeat, have to be orange, which is yellow and red. Here we go! So, this probably opened up the thing right at the end of here, right? Okay. Good. We are now progressing. I don't know if I solved that puzzle as I should have. I think I may have accidentally uh, broken the game. What else is through here? Fine by me though. Fine by me. It doesn't matter how I solve a puzzle, I don't think. Let's just break this because it's fun. Good, and we'll break that too. Nice. Very cash money. We, I think we're approaching the climax of the game. What's through here? There is, in fact, a door right here with a red man. Oh my god! Okay, thanks. What a dick! What an actual dick! Okay, that one's gonna attack us. How we for health? All is good. Okay, so it doesn't actually damage us. It just jump scares us, which is a little annoying. That's fine, though. Any of these gonna jump scare us? up with your model, my dude. Very scary. Very scary indeed. Oh, that sounds like a bad dude. What's in here? Hello? I'm gonna stand on this glyph despite my better judgment. What is in here? Nothing. Literally nothing. Okay. Maybe if we light the torches next to those big red guys, they won't uh, attack us so hard. I feel like we're getting closer to a monster. Okay, that is fine that way, but I always investigate over here first. Maybe we go this way first, because I hear breathing. Anything through here? Ah, it looks like a dead end. But also, this door is open. Aha! 
You shouldn't have. I love this. Really, I absolutely love what you've done with the place. It's uh, truly thrilling. Apex decor. I didn't actually like it. I hated it. I didn't really want to tell him that. Okay, we've got another red guy over there. And a red room. I have seen enough internet to know when to run away from a red room. Let's go back down here and see what this place has to offer. What wealth of uh, jump scares and information it has. Uh, nothing. Actually, except for some drugs. I'll take it. I'll take drugs. Good. And what's through here then? It won't budge. What if I put a positive acid on it? Okay, nothing. Okie dokie. So we have to go all the way back through here to the red room. We probably have to go back to that door that won't budge. Either that or it's where an enemy is currently having a, sn a slumber. Oh no. 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 What's going on? Hello? Oh, that is a scary noise. Am I being hunted? Am I being hunted? Oh my god! That actually jump scared me. I knew it was coming too. Okay, I'm crawling through. I see monster. That is definitely monster. Or maybe it's just statue. I hear monster. I do not see monster. I do not see. I do not see see the monster. Is it through here? I see an eagle statue. There is in fact a door at the end of here, hopefully with some safety behind it. Looks safe enough actually. I sure as hell don't see anything bad. Ooh. I picked up the key to the heart of the fortress. Yes, that's what we want. We want the key to the heart of the fortress, apparently. Then we can tell the police about our wife's murder. I just watched that guy go past. What the hell is that sound? That is a... Oh, piss! I'm running! I'm running away! It was Dimwit Daryl. Fortunately, he can't... He can't rub his two brain cells together, so... He just walked right past us. Stupid oaf. Okay, I'm coming in here. That was probably a bit loud. That was probably also a bit loud. Uh, we should be good though. There is a tinderbox in here. We'll take it. I'll do a jump. And I'll... Just really quickly make sure there's nothing behind this box. There's nothing. Good. Alright. Time for some risk. I'm going out. Alright, that is a dead end. We do not want to be caught with our pants down over there. Daryl? Is that Daryl there? No, that is a statue. Just a recreation of the image of Dimwit Daryl's splendor. Oop. He's literally around the corner. He's literally around that corner. I think he's coming. I think he's coming over. Daryl? I think we have to trigger that statue as well. I think he's just around that corner there. He's not going to tell on us, is he? Yep, there we go. I did trigger that statue on purpose. Uh, our motion blur is not doing us any good. Daryl, for some reason, knows where we are now. Not good. Okay. I'm coming all the way back over here. We probably could use some kind of sanity potion or... Yeah, sanity is probably our main issue at this point, so... We'll manage that as it comes, because there's literally nothing we can do about it. Oh, piss! Well, we know where Dimwit Daryl is. So let's go over this way. Away from Dimwit Daryl. There's another one of those statues right there. Ah, we know where he is. Hello! Pardon. Oh my god! I wanted to say pardonnez-moi. Okay, I can't see dicks. Part of the old fortress. 
Don't you think it's a little bit premature to be going in there right now? Uh, thankfully, Dimwit Daryl is not anywhere near us. Okay, there's nothing. Maybe our lamp would suffice to restore some of our sanity. Okay, it's locked, which is fine, because we've got this key right here. And now we're going into the heart of the old fortress. David Emsworth's mercenaries started to appear in the very corner, in every corner of the hidden fortress. Francis was getting paranoid. The visions of his dead sister Ophelia were starting to haunt him more and more. Well, that sucks, but again, not my problem. I just need help, because my wife is dead! My wife? My wife is dead? This is literally Borat Simulator. I am Borat. My wife is dead. A five. Okay, we got some lore here. The hidden fortress is the hideout of a secret ministry that has been operating from the times of the ancient Roman Empire. This is what the Baron had sworn to protect. Their leader, Andre Macias, tells me they've managed to make repairs to an ancient cipher machine. It contains immense amounts of power that can help us in the fight against the shadow. It's kept hidden in the oldest part of the fortress, past the sewers. The shadow has marked me, but if I learn to use the cipher, it can give me the power to banish the shadow for good. I can use it to resurrect Ophelia. Andre Macias tells me that sacrifices must be made, but I'm prepared for anything. All right, very good. Again, not our story. If I find the cipher, then maybe I could find a way to resurrect my wife. Don't you think maybe reporting the, the murder would be more prudent? Just in case it happens again. Uh, thank you. This is a confusing place for a flashback. All right, where am I? Uh, that door has been absolutely caved in. There is a box here, there's a door here. Almost hit my face on that, that was lucky. Good thing I swung out of there just in time. Okay, what's down here? This is a mine, a literal mine. There's blood down here. Okay, let's see what's, let's see what's back inside of civilization before we commit to going down there. Uh, we're out of oil. Oh, piss. We literally are out of oil. For the first time in ages. What's in here? It won't budge, okay. I bet there's oil in there. You know, dead wife is one thing. Right, but priorities. Oil. Ah, the ladder going down into a well. Delightful. I can't wait to explore the splendor of spelunking myself. Uh, the old warehouse, probably not terribly interested in the old warehouse. We'll try it any, it's locked. Okay, good. Okay, let's go down this ladder right here. There may be a monster, but all I hear is some heavy metal. Uh, that's weird. I don't know what that is. Okay, so what's through here? Oh, that's not good. There's blood all over the place. Oil! Yes. Thank you. Let's see what's in this prison cell right here. It is clothing. Weird place to store clothing. What's up with all these weird triangular chunks? Is this my eagle vision come through? Oh no! A severed arm! Oh, we'll take this with us, actually. Good. Uh, let's leave that there while we come in here and see what's good to take. There is nothing in here good to take. Okay, waste of our time. There's a bunch of blood on that bed right there. Maybe someone gave birth on that bed. Okay, come up here. I don't think there's anything in here either, except for a, um, a leg. I'm not really interested in the leg. The hand seems a lot more useful. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that! Wait, is he coming down or not? Okay, I'm picking my hand back up. Let's uh, orient this in a more functional way, I, I, I think. Oh, the thumb's upside down, that's messed up. Here we go, okay. We've now got a, a third arm. I will punch whoever challenges us. Right in the face with this thing. Let's go in here. This is where the, uh, the big smash came from, right? 
Okay, don't want to know what's up there. Want to have a weird poke around here. Okay. I just slapped a vase, that's fine. Wait, isn't this the path to the beginning of the level? Hello? Yep, this definitely looks like familiar territory. Hey, there's a guy up here. Uh, are you missing a hand, buddy? Oop, sorry, I didn't mean to grab your ass that way. Don't tell HR! Okay. Well, that's probably going to bite us in the ass eventually. Whoops, I didn't mean to throw my hand again. Damn. Okay. Good, I'll keep it like uh, like this, I think. Like the old point and click icons. All right, I'm not seeing a hell of a lot here for us. What was in here? It was locked, wasn't it? Yeah, that definitely feels locked. Open that up a good deal for us. Okay, so we've created a roundabout way to kind of get away from a monster if one so chooses to attack us. However, I haven't actually seen any aggressors, so until we see some aggressors, I'm just going to assume that there aren't any. Um, maybe I need my other hand for this. Yep, definitely need my... F okay, so this hand is good for, like, pushing and stuff, but when we need thumbs, we have to actually use our hand. Itchy moustache. I bet that opens inwards. Yep. Okay. Gonna have to use our other hand. Let's block from the other side. All right. Hey, uh, buddy, do you want to maybe um, solve the problem for us by just maybe slipping your uh, your fingers under there and? <laughs> oh, that's so macabre. Okay, what's in here? Laboratory. Okay. While the rest of Francis's men were preparing the confrontation with the shadow. Henry started to get distracted with his own experiments. Viable hosts were starting to run low, but Francis had assured him it won't be a problem for long. Fine by me. What's down here? Uh, this place is spooky. What's that? That's a broken chair. Wow, this place has been completely ransacked. Why is there blood here? Did someone, like, fall down that shaft, maybe? Maybe. The bars keep the way shut. We've got acid for this, I think. Nope. Doesn't work. Okay. What's in here? Oh! Literally nothing! You shouldn't have! Alright, we'll come back out here. We'll check out this way, because we didn't check out this way before. Found a tinderbox immediately. Gonna light that. And then I'm gonna barge my way into this office. Ah, we're out of oil. No, we're not! We're good for oil! Alright, I thought that for a second there was someone in here with us, but it doesn't seem like that's the case at all. Petroleum! N thanks! Old warehouse key, great. The faulty bomb-making procedures. The recent mixture, Ivan Strekolov's finest, turned out to be poorly stabilized and was ignited during the final testing phases. He probably drank it. Luckily, only one useless laboratory assistant died. I need to get more supplies from the warehouse and make sure the next batch, batch of the bomb fluid stays stable for a longer period of time. Use a mixture of petroleum and hydrogen sulfide to produce mononitrotoline. Chemical formula is infused to trinitrotoluene using an anhydrous mixture of nitroglycol and sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate? That's not a thing. Corrosive acid is added to cause an increase in the aqueous hydronium concentration. Henry Morton. Okay, well, Kenry seems to be smoking absolute crack, because I'm pretty sure half of that was just made up. But we do have a batch of acid. Apparently, it, it just doesn't flat out matter what is in the acid, so long as it's corrosive. Okay, can't put that there. Right, so we got to remember that there's kind of like bomb-making equipment down there, and we need to go to the old warehouse first to get the things required, I imagine. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. All of the doors have closed, which is uh, uh, not very good, actually. It kind of impedes our perception of progress. Wasn't here. What is in here? Do we go down here? A big trail of blood. Looks familiar. Oh, yeah, this is that prison, isn't it? Oh, we didn't actually explore down here. At all. Okay, we'll open that bad boy up. And there is a candle in here. Who gives a single hoot? Probably something under this bed, right? That's pretty suspicious. What's under the bed? Babadook? Nope, no Babadook. 
That's a shame. We could have formed an alliance. Anything over here? Nope. Just some boxes and rocks. Rocks and boxes. And here is a torture device. And a real old-timey scalpel. But nothing of use. We've been in here. We have definitely been in here. I'm, I'm sure of it now. This is where we got that hand for the first time. Okay, so we'll come back up this dungeon wall here. Let's see what else we've got going on. Did we go in here? I think we may have. Well, this is where we came from, right? Yeah, the laboratory. So we don't want to go in there just yet. We want to quite possibly find this old warehouse that we've heard so much about, which might be up the stairs. We have been in here. Old warehouse, good. It's locked. No longer is that the case. Boom. So we are looking for a couple of things. William had suspected from the start that Francis had a plot to take over his father's heritage. Again, I couldn't give two craps about this weird feud that these two families have. My wife got murdered. Unless I am one of the... Sorry? I'm pretty sure he just said, Where you are? Hello? Was that just ambience? Okay, there's a cockroach on my screen. That's weird. But until I see an enemy, I'm not going to even bother sneak around. All right, what's down here? Sneaky, sneaky. This cockroach is all over my screen. Yuck. Gross. Let's light this up. See if that gets rid of some of the uh, insanity that we are obviously experiencing. Wait, why have we got cockroaches on our screen? Like, at all. Why? Just why? Okay, sodium nitrate, that's... We still need, like, hydrogen something. Don't we? I'm pretty sure that's the case. A couple of smelly, smelly hogs. We'll spank our hog a little bit. Then we'll come over here, take this tinderbox, of course. Maybe there's something beneath this railing. Or have I just screwed myself out of a good path back? Yep, I screwed myself out of, out of a good path back. That's fine. I'll go all the way around and then we'll go back up. I'm pretty sure we got everything in here. First go. Pretty much. Right? We got the uh, we got the acid. We've got two chemicals. I think we just start mixing this. Can we do it now? Petroleum and sodium nitrate. Right. So, yeah, that is not... No, I'm thinking potassium nitrate. Sorry, I was just having a little bit of a dichotomy in my brain. I was thinking um, that World War II actually g gave birth to potassium nitrate simply because it was used as a replacement for explosives back when the English blocked the English Channel from Germany to harvest a, a bunch of explosive materials. Got more oil. That is awesome. This is rumbling like my stomach. Good grief. Cinderbox. Anything else? Not at a glance. Yes. Nitroglycerol. Okay, this should be everything that we need. Wait, what's going on? Why am I going insane? I've got my lamp out. It shouldn't be happening. Alright, so there's also this way. Oh, apparently this will actually open if we just cleared the debris. Really? No way. There's no way. Okay, I'm actually going to try and clear the debris. Good shot me. Move this one as well. Okay, what's in here? Oh, there's actually a lot in here. Use the last of our oil, I think, to come in here and uh, maybe ransack a little bit. There's got to be a nice tool in here, right? Bunch of crap. There is some lore right there. I don't really see much else. Anything in here? Oh, what's that? Hydrogen sulfide. Okay, so that's everything we needed. Emergence, emergent note. Gregory, you must leave this underground fortress and get back to the surface immediately. Get a message to the Baron of the Carful Proud. Something terrible is about to happen soon. Francis is starting to take control. I've been listening in when he talks with David. He thinks that by sacrificing many, one soul can be saved. I also heard something else. I think he was involved in the deaths of Ophelia and Richard Harmon. I cannot leave. I am being watched by David's gang constantly. I think Francis has started to suspect me of something. William Dalton. 
Okay, so obviously, like, the murder of our wife ties into this plot. I'm pretty sure we're the head of one of these two houses. I just don't know which. Okay. A couple of ways we could go is in here. A uh, lot of blood in this area right here. Maybe this is not the place we want to be. That looks like a long drop as well. What's in here? Well, this is suspicious. This is very suspicious. This. Where are you? Don't worry. We are, in fact, one with the barrel. One with the barrel. We are one with the barrel. Oh, the barrel just made noise. Oh, no. <coughs> We're one with the barrel. Wait, is he actually here? Or did I just spook myself? I may have just spooked myself. I've also realized that restoring some of those actually restores a little bit of our sanity. Uh, we don't actually need that gigantic bucket of acid. So we didn't need to come down into here. Even though it's haunted as hell. We are getting the hell out of that area. Yuck. Piss, piss, piss. I can't run, by the way. I can't run. Okay, let's hide over here. And this close to us. Good. Are we just being haunted? I don't know. I think we may have just been haunted. I don't hear any footsteps. Nope, it's pretty much clear. Okay, I think we were just being haunted a little bit. He didn't even come in. What a bastard. Okay, still going to come in through here. Oh, my God. The monsters are turning against each other, but why? Thick thighs, Theo. Absolutely crap the beard. Uh, we can't take his thick thighs with us, though, which is a little bit unfortunate. It won't budge. That's fine. So, Dimwit Daryl's got to be around here somewhere, right? He's got to be. Okay, that is... What's going on? I don't know which way is the way out. I'm gonna try for this way. That door looks sus. I'm gonna try it. Yes, that was definitely the way out. Okay, good. David Emsworth's mercenary started to appear in every corner of the hidden fortress. Francis was getting paranoid. The visions of his dead sister, Ophelia, were starting to haunt him more and more. Are we Francis? Is that the story? Is he gonna be down here? No, the music is... If anything else, just completely reset. Okay, so now we're after the laboratory, which I think was this way, if I am not mistaken. No, this is definitely the exit, isn't it? Okay, there's an office over this way. Was this where we came into? Yes, I remember that guy with his dingling hanging out. Okay, so through here, there was not a lot, was there? There was that mine we haven't been in yet. I imagine we need to, like, craft some kind of explosive. And then we need to use that to blow open the stones. This is all speculation and conjecture. What's through here? Nothing. What's through here? We follow the blood. We're following the blood. Laboratory! Okay, good! So now we can make the bomb. Henry was given the task to develop large quantities of dynamite to clear out the tunnels of the old way. During his research, he discovered something he shouldn't have. I didn't get that last line. I accidentally... Oh, piss. Piss, 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 piss. Piss, piss, piss. Oh, no. What was that sound? Uh, no footsteps, no body. Okay, this is the laboratory. Boop. Gonna close that. So, I have all the ingredients I need. I'm ready to start the process. Did I just drink it? Was that the Minecraft drinking noise? Okay, Ivan's Nitro Fluid. I imagine if we get smacked with this on us, we blow up. Oh, no, meat! Okay, let's try it this way then. I'm going down, down. This isn't familiar. Where the hell am I? 
Oh no, I know exactly where I am. We're down in that kind of like storeroom area, aren't we? We might be able to go around. Ah! Okay, I'm running. I'm running away. We need to find something that we can light because our sanity is absolute garbage. Ah, okay, so we can't go back. Only forward. No sanity potion. I think we just run past him as soon as we see him, right? Come and catch me! Come and catch me, Jim Wit Daryl! I dare you! I dare you to come and catch me! Come and catch me! Oh! One hit! He is so unfair. That is so ridiculously unfair. I know we're supposed to run away from him while the meat kind of like blocks our path back. But that was just ridiculous. I was just taking the piss almost. All right, I'm just gonna run past him. I know he's round there, so let's just sprint this way. Oh no, that's bad. There's meat in there. Okay, I'm gonna uh, basically just sprint through here. This is not where we wanna be, I bet. But that's okay. I'm gonna go around Dimwit Daryl. This way here. It's blocked from the other side. Are you taking the piss? Uh-oh! Oh! He's kind of stupid, isn't he? Okie dokie! Oh no! It's a naked man on a wheel! Help me! Maybe this way? Maybe we just had to run past him? Oh, I don't want to be down here! This gives me water monster vibes! Okay, we made it anyway. Ooh, center box. Thank you. Hello! Hello, Dumb and Daryl! I'm running away from you! I don't know where I'm going! Oh, okay. There's a... Uh... Oh, no! The crank handle is missing! I bet this back. I bet this back behind us, right? Unless we could trick Dimwit Daryl into, like, blowing open that gate for us. Okay, we've got this nitro fluid. We might even need a key to get through that lock. I haven't figured it out yet. I don't think he's going anywhere, is he? Him with Daryl. Yeah, okay. Frank Handle is missing. That's not good. What should I whisper into my lucidly dreaming friend's ear? Um, that is a very good question. In fact, it's not really one that I could necessarily answer at this current moment in time. I'm gonna throw a chair at Dimwit Daryl. Hello! Oh, piss! It didn't do anything! <laughs> ah, well, at least it confused him a bit. I'm going back this way. Ah! That's sus. Okay. Ooh! I don't know. Do you want him to, like, learn the lyrics of Vengabus over and over again? Uh, I, I accidentally um, left Vengabus playing for one of my friends when he was at a sleepover once. And uh, he did not forget it. He did not forget the Vingabus. I don't even know the words to the Vingabus. Okay, so we actually need to go down the path that he is currently goose guarding. When he gets through here, as long as he doesn't come this way. Good. We'll Blair Witch our way down this hallway in case he has the golden idea to turn around. Good. Good, and we should be able to stand up now. There is nothing in here. Okay. What about down in this water? Something to make their dreams very funny. Usually I just, I, I go with the tried and true Venga bus. Ooh. That was close. He's not coming down this way, is he? I'm afraid. I'm actually afraid. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's stuck. He's glitching out. Which is actually the perfect opportunity for us to go through. What's in here? This is just a creepy bedroom with what looks like nothing. 
and it's except for a sanity buff. I've got finger buff stuck in my head now. Thanks, everyone. The finger bus is coming. Okay, there's the objective. I think while everybody's distracted, we could probably just go around and do our own thing, right? And here is probably the wheel. No, it's some guy uh, sitting with a giant cone up his backside. He, does he have a, like a, a lever up there or something? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, we tried. So in here, there was also nothing but light. And over here, there's Dimwit Daryl trying to beat down an indestructible beam. Yep, there it is. Oh, uh, I think we actually have to go that way. Oh no. That ain't good. Damn, look at those cheeks! Okay. I've got a- I've got a- I've got a play. I've got a play. I'm gonna pick up a box, if I can. No, this is too heavy. I just need any item that I can pick up. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna throw it at him, and then I'm gonna jump over that beam for the door. Cause he can't get through. He can't get through there. I'm gonna throw this at his feet. I'm gonna use it to kind of leapfrog over him. Unless that's a path. What's in there? There's nothing that way. Okay. Hey, buddy! How you doing? I'm going past you! No! Pass off! Oh, I'm stuck on the beam! That felt good, actually. That scream felt really, really good. I know that this is like the last stretch of this mod as well. Okay, so we come around here, we wait for Dimwit Daryl to go down his path. Of course, of course, of course, unless... We kind of like try and beat him to it. But there's also an enemy inside... ...of that area too, isn't there? Okay, there's nothing down there, there's nothing around here... There appears to be nothing in here either, which is a little bit frustrating. So what is Daryl doing down here? If I can be so bold as to ask. There's the guy with the wheel. Yep, there's Dimwit Daryl. Oh, can't hide there. Can't really hide here either. Hope he doesn't come this way. Oh! No! Why?! All right, we gotta go like run straight past him, honestly. I think the answer is to gap it. Because this guy will not give us a break and I need to see what's past him. Just down here, I need to see what's down, down this way. Meat, bunch of other crap it seems. And there should be a barricaded door basically where we are now. Oh, yeah, perfect, the wooden crank. We needed that. So we just need to now run straight past him. Hello! Pardon moi! All right, I think he shot his load and he missed. That's hilarious. Uh, let's go this way. We'll take the water route because there's nothing in here and it's not actually that scary anymore. Oh, what the? Are you kidding me? How is he faster than me? This guy's a dick. This guy's an actual dick. Oh, I'm losing my temper, Adam. What have we? We still have the crank handle, which is actually pretty good. So, now we just come over here and we wait for him to pass. We just wait. I think, I think the answer is just to be a little bit more patient than we actually are being. What are you doing, bud? You going? Yeah, he's going. Okie dokie. I'm gapping it. I know he can't hear me. He's not, he's not very good uh, at listening. I think that maybe jumping through the water is actually faster. So that's something we have to keep in mind. 
Okay, so if this guy goes back to that door to try and beat it down, we'll be in a really good place. Because he'll basically be stuck there. Oh, piss. He'll be real. He'll be absolutely stuck there. He's not going anywhere. In fact, let's... No, we can't stimulate it because he's, uh... He's ready to take in our box. There he is. I think he's actually going to goose guard where we need to be. We should probably hide in one of these rooms, like maybe here, and we should wait for him to patrol back. I think that'd be the best idea, to be honest. Let's come in here. I think he is going to patrol back, because there's not really anywhere else for him to go, is there? Yeah, here he is. Okie dokie! Alright. We are the prisoner. We are the prisoner. We are the prisoner. We are the prisoner. We're one with the prison. We are the prisoner. I hear him squeaking past. Right, I think he's past us, actually. Hopefully he doesn't turn back around and see us. Okay. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. No, I'm hiding here. I know he's patrolling. I know he's patrolling. I don't care. I don't actually care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. We're doing this. We're doing this now. I know he's patrolling. I don't care. We're going. We are getting it out. We are not looking back. Screw this place. They can have my wife's corpse for all I care. Okay. Now hopefully we can report this murder to the police. Oh no, we didn't need it like a crowbar or something, did we? Yes. Okay, what's this? Oh, thank the Lord, we are done! We are done with that horrid zone. Absolutely done. God, yuck. Big yuck on that front. Oh, my poor heart rate. My poor heart rate. Hey, we got a nice wee sting as well. Uh, lift that up. That was easy. But that's super fast. Okay, can't go that way, obviously. What about this way? Can we go this way? Yes, we can. I don't really know the layout of this area very well. Maybe down here? No, that's to the prison area of this zone. So through here. We've got to go, like, all the way back, don't we? And I think this is kind of where that mine hole is that we dropped down. Yep, there it is. We can't go through there. It's good, actually. It you know what, I gotta give the mod developer for this mod specifically a lot of credit because he's doing a very good job of closing off the areas that we've already 100%ed. Okay, I don't care if there's an enemy that way. I'm going this way and no one can, literally no one can stop me. Here we go. Now we run. Hello! Excuse me! Did we just die? Did we just die? Say it ain't so! Oh no, I think we lived. Or did we? That's the end of that brute. At least my wife has been avenged now. Yeah, but shouldn't it also be the end of us? What? We're not out of oil. What? Okay. What brute? Oh, I see! That corpse is, is the brute, apparently. Okay. And onwards we go. We can't take a leg with us, unfortunately, as like a trophy. That sucks. More sewers. Gross. Flooded sewers? Yes! The followers of the Hidden Fortress didn't stand a chance against the soldiers of the formidable mercenary leader. Most of them were captured and sent for the cipher. We should be done, right? Oh, no way in hell. I see the water monster right there. Maybe we can, like, bait it. Or maybe that was just an item. Okay, I'm going left. I'm pulling out my lantern. I know we're about to be chased by something. Can't go that way. There's a hole in the garate over here, which is garate. Man, I should sell cereal. I bet this is locked, right? This has got to be locked. Yep, it won't budge, of course. The hell was that sound? Uh, that looks like certain death. Let's go this way. The darker route. 
Okay, I don't really see anything. Oh no, we didn't just trigger the water monster, did we? Oh no! Oh no! Come back out here. You missed! Okay, in an effort to get Vengabus out of my head, I've now got Darude Sandstorm stuck in my head. This is going to let the water monster in, right? But it's also going to give us safe passage out. And it's also going to be on a time limit. No, actually it is. It's just good forever. Magnificent. What was in here? Nothing, just a dead lantern. Unfortunately, there's no oil down here, but we are out of the water, so that's great. I'm gonna take this barrel in case we need to hide. Hello? Ah, oh, there's barrels everywhere, great. Okay, there is a staircase going upwards. There is a well here that I'm not really interested in too much. What's in here? Why do I always take the dark path? Holding cells. What? What do you mean holding cells? What do you mean holding cells? Why is the staircase so long? I suppose we did fall down an elevator shaft to get where we are. Wow, this is pre-meditation at its worst. Sewer drainage. The water has to flow directly through these pipes. If we remove them, it will slowly flood the passageway to the cipher. One of us has to lure the Baron's troops deeper into the tunnels. There, we can easily trap them in the narrow corners by flooding the way they came from. Henry. Henry Morton. Oakley dokley. Part of the wall looks incomplete. Yeah, it looks like it needs two pipes. Where could I find such things? In here, maybe? Oh, they're probably like all downstairs and we have to bring them all the way up here, right? Because we need to block up these two right there. We can't use the ones that are existing. No pipes in here already. Guess we'd like try and rip some off the walls, but there aren't any on the walls to rip, so. Okay, probably have to go down, probably have to go and find a pipe to do that thing. Wow, I know how to descend stairs. Good grief. I don't know how to get around boxes though. So that is another area entirely. And we still need... Alright, that's flooded. We still need two pipes. Well, uh, one pipe. Minimum. Okay, there's another one of these artifact stations. We fear the shadow has already overtaken the machine. We are powerless without your help. You must succeed in where Francis Harmon failed. I don't get your your feud, dude, but again, I'm, I'm not, not really here to pick a side. I'm here because my wife died. In fact, why am I still here if I've avenged her death? I don't see a hell of a lot through there. Okay, maybe we do actually have to go into the new zone. This one here, the holding cells. Let's do that. So there were three enemies here, right? And two of them have died so far. The Shadow had managed to get past the flame-guarded barriers of the cathedral by the time they realized it was already over for them. Fine by me. Watch me here. Watch. Me. Here. There's a... Rusty padlock here. Okay, maybe I could break it with something. It might be a rock around the place. Rock? Maybe? No? No rock? Oh, okay. The iron bar is loosely attached. I'm taking it. Yoink. We just fit through this gap. No, okay. Right, let's use this iron bar on the padlock. We'll just hit it a few times. Do we still have the iron bar though? That's the question. We do. Nice. Great. So something, whatever was down here has been locked in here for basically all of eternity. Are there any notes beneath the beds? No, there never are, are there? Okay. Probably don't want to go down there just yet. I'm going to start lighting things because it's good for my sanity. But there's not really anything here to light. I just saw one flick across the screen, but I ignored it as well. Huh? Who said that? Is there someone alive down here? Well, probably not for long, to be honest. Alright. Why is this cell all bloodied? And why is it empty? Why is there no oil anywhere? Oops. Hello? 
I'm coming in. Thank the Lord. Okay. My prayers have literally been answered as I said them. What's in here? There is a... Uh, oh, there's a poop bucket, but other than that, nothing. Don't know why I'm holding this. It smells terrible. Let's get rid of that. Ah, oh, there's a candle in here. That's some free sanity. Nothing under the bed. Of course, as always. Still going to be walking around in the dark for a bit. Anything under this bedroll? No, never is. Okie dokie. Okay, who's having a whinge out here? There's a tinderbox. Very nice. Anything under here? Honestly, the iron bar is probably a pretty good weapon. I don't think we could find anything better. Uh, that's a giant heavy gate. Leading to... God only knows where. The cell's four. Okay. This place is big. This place is really big. Right, so we'll come away from that area and we'll come into this place with the crying man. Hello? Christ, at least I know what happened to everybody else down here. Here you go, you look uncomfortable. Oh, glass jar, great. Can we... What? Did I do that? Well, legs here. Anything in these tiny little holes, maybe? Nope, doesn't look like anything. Who said that? Who is saying these words? Uh, I'll light that torch for you. That's the best I can do on such short notice. I'm sorry. I'm just looking for the police. So if you don't know where the police are, I'm not, I don't have time for you. Uh, looks like his brains have been sucked out of his skull. Why? Why? I can't use the item in this way. Okay. Well, what? How, can I teabag him? I'll teabag this naked man. Okay, moving out and moving on. We're probably looking for something to try and uh, mutilate that man's body further, right? Oh no! Come off it! Come off it! I just got here! Okay. Oh, look! We've right. decided to take matters into our own hands now. Andre Macias is a wise man, but he's too careful, I'm afraid. Now is not the time to hold back. We know it won't be too long until the Baron finds out what's happened, but we'll be waiting for him. Once the shadow has been dealt with, we can focus on uncovering the ritual of Exilio Malefica. With the powers of resurrection, we can undo all this unnecessary damage we've caused. Andre Macias and a couple of his followers are still missing. Sacrificing him to the Cypher could give us a huge advantage in the confrontation against the Shadow. David's troops are on the lookout. It won't be long now until we find them. Okay, thank you for filling in that exposition. Francis went clearly insane while seeking the powers of resurrection. I wonder if I would share the same fate. Would it even be worth it? Okay, I don't hear any more jingling chains, so I assume that he is gone. Maybe not for good, but for now. For now he's gone. Oh, piss. There's always something, isn't there? Wait, can I open this? Ooh. Yes, please. Okay, I don't know what actually hit that. On account of there being nothing in there. Right, what am I looking at here? Okay, we've got some gears, we've got some pipes. Wonderful. None of this is useful to us, actually. I just broke a quill. I just took the lever handle and it shut all of the machinery off. Those, those gates were powered by the engine. A heavy gate. I'll put you back into it, buddy. Is there like an up we can go? No? What about in here? It won't budge. Okay. So we probably need to... Oh, I see. We probably need to stick a... We probably need to stick a box or something under it, right? Unless we can do it with the iron bar. Oh! There we go. Great! We've swapped out our weapon for something functionally useful. Okay, great. We came from there. I see the poop bucket on the ground. We didn't come from here. 
Yes, we did. That is the the uh, necropolis of naked men. Oh, that's creepy. Weird. I love how the wind blew that door closed, but the candle is still lit. Nothing in there. Still just the screams of the damned, it seems. I'm surprised somebody's actually alive in here, though, to be honest. Okay, so we've got a handle. That's what our excursion earned us, and I'm pretty sure we haven't been down here yet, have we? One way to know! Dude, get a grip! It's just darkness! Seriously, man! There's nothing to light either. There's tinderboxes everywhere, but there's nothing to restore our sanity with, it seems. I don't see any candles. I don't see anything. Uh, this... can have a handle. And now we pull it up. Good. That seemed to do a trick. Oil. Yes. Wonderful. We do actually have a lantern. We could probably just hold to restore sanity. But why bother? Oh! I know what to do with this. We need to collect some of, ugh, some of this oil, don't we? Yeah, there we go. That's a, that was a penumbra nod. Wonderful. Excellent. So we did a, a quest objective of some sort. We've got some oil. I don't know what the hell we're supposed to be doing with it. But we have it. Maybe we, uh, like, pour it on ourselves in some desperate, perverse act of degeneracy, but no. No, it seems as though that's not the case at all. Okay. So we've got a bucket of oil, which we probably could have just made ourselves from the sewers. I don't know what to do with it. I just don't know what to do with it. I think I'll find out eventually. But for now, nothing. Right, where are we? I don't know if those, uh, if that dickhead has respawned or anything like that. So we've done that path. Can't really go down that path. Yet. Can't go down it yet. And there's nothing really here for us, is there? Okay. Right, so. I have to find a way through. No kidding, dickhead! I'm working on it! We still need oil. It goes somewhere. And honestly, we're still also looking for a pipe. On this map. Because we haven't seen one glowing to pick up. We've only really seen one in the base game that, there it is, okay, good. That you actually physically pick up and you uh, you haul it around with you. Okie dokie. So we'll come up these stairs if physics will allow us, stopping every now and then just to break our toes against the, the end of these metal steps. And I'm gonna jam this one up top, right here. Boop. Or not. Maybe like, how accurate does it have to be? Boop. Like, come on. What? There's two of them. Oh, that's probably gonna oh, really frustrate me. Hopefully it's up here, which it is not. So it's gotta be down here, right? I don't know what we do with this bucket of oil, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna need it after we repair the pipes that are down here in the first place. Get that out of the way. I don't see anything. I don't see any other pipes that we could take or anything like that. Unless, unless they kind of like back the way that we came. Okay, there's nothing under there. We have definitely checked. There's nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing there. Probably, honestly, going to be back the way we came. Like through here, possibly. Possible. Uh, I don't really see anything. Unless it's like in the water. No, okay. So it seems like there is one physical pipe that is still kind of missing. I haven't even seen it like built into the walls anywhere. So a little bit strange. It's probably not going to be out in the corpse pile, is it? Or even out down here? I mean, it could be out down here. No, I don't think it is somehow. Okay. So we can't go that way. Maybe we have to rip it out of the wall somewhere. Which would probably mean that we need to figure out where these pipes are going. No, that's bust, that's bust, that's just going onto a wall. A wall. Okay, last ditch effort, it's gotta be in here somewhere. 
I don't see anything though. Unless, oh, we are out of oil, but we have just fixed the issue immediately as it arose. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing any kind of elbow joint pipes anywhere. It's not going to be like down in the water down here, is it? Oh, we can actually go a, a certain depth down here, but we just can't progress any further. There is nothing here for us. That's a little bit sucky. Right. And we looked in here a thousand times. Do we look in the top shelves? Oh, we didn't. Okay. Wonderful. So that puzzle is completely solved. Oops, I'm getting a phone call. I will move this box right here. I'm going to ignore the phone call so I can finish this uh, stream. And then I will call them back as I usually have done while I stream. So, we'll take this back upstairs, and then we'll see what we need to do with the oil itself. Because it could be very, very sucky. We could have to run away from the water monster a bunch of times. Not sure. Not entirely sure. So this one's got to go over here. Both pipes are attached. Wonderful. Tip this lever. Lever is stuck and needs to be oiled. So that's what we need it for. There we go. Lever is unstuck. Okay, we have now drained the swamp. Excellent. We did what Trump could not do in four years, and it only took us three and a half hours. Well, probably more like 20 minutes from when we actually identified we needed to do it. Whereas, uh, three and a half hours, we've been trying to look for some kind of authority to report our dead wife to. Okay, I hate that this is ankle-high water. This is probably going to be water monster territory, right? Yep. That sounds like a water monster to me. Okie dokie. Open the store up. And we'll go through. Okay, I'm gonna start taking the boxes. Piss, piss, piss. Which way? Which way? Out of oil. Great. That is stellar. I'm going this way. I'm going left. When in doubt, go left. Piss. It was the wrong way. Okay, I'm going forward. Piss, it was the wrong way. Okay, I'm going right. Oh, maybe it's behind us. Maybe the thing is actually behind us. And we've just wasted so much time. No! Duck! Okay, good. We're running. We're getting the hell out of here. Uh, left or right, left or right, left or right. I'm going right. It won't budge. Piss. That's not good. We probably just uh, wasted heaps and heaps of time. Okay, I'm running! No, I'm really slow now. Okay, I'm running again. I don't know why the game just voluntarily gimped me. Hello, friendo, I'm going this way. I'm going all the way up here. Oh no, not a crag! Not here! Yes! Yes! Suck it, Dimwit Daryl! That feels so good. The Cypher? Why the hell are we here? Only a handful of followers have managed to escape, including Andre Messias. Now an outsider could be the one who will free them from the Shadow's grasp. Really? Okay, couple of imprisoned people here. There's some rotting roses, that's fine. Hello Cypher, I've heard so much about you. Can I use you to perhaps report my dead wife to the authorities? Maybe? Oh! Oh, hello, meat. Thank you, uh, Breeze of Wind for opening the door, uh, but also screw you, meat, for the pain. The horrible pain. Here we go! We're in the meat market! When the massacre began, we used the energies of the Cypher to escape the, to the Divine Realms. The Shadow cannot reach us, but we're trapped. Use the, the flames of Boreas to dispel the shadow around the engines of the Cypher. We can still set things straight. Uh, the shadows of Boreas. These things here. Andre Messias and the other survivors are still trapped inside this portal. I need to reach them somehow. Okie dokie. So we should have left all of those wankers behind. The ones who are trying to harm us. So now it's just us versus versus the meat, right? I said that like a like an Australian. That's very embarrassing. I'm, I'm very sorry. 
And nothing in there, nothing in there. We don't have any oil, no. We still have this glass jar for some reason. Ooh. Something to ransack. We haven't seen one of these in ages. A desk? Somewhere to sit? Recuperate? Oh, goodies. Yes. Very good. Okay. So through here should be meat. That's exactly what I expected. In the boxes, uh, great. Absolutely fantastic. So, oh, I see. We like these. And the meat dissipates, right? Yeah, ooh woo off, meat. Okay, so we've just unlocked a shortcut for ourselves through here, which is pretty nice. Wonderful, even. Let's descend further into the bowels of this dungeon. Ah. Okay. I wonder what relevance the machinery has to this this meat monster. Another couple of tinder boxes. We're getting a lot of tinder boxes now. How many have we got? We've got 29, which actually is way less than I thought, but I suppose we did skip the first like two thirds of this game to get back to where we were. Draws, yep, good. The sacrifices have only made the energies within the cipher more corrupt and twisted. We didn't realize it had the control of the machine from the very beginning. Neither! Ophelia hasn't spoken to me anymore. That sucks. And now I know why. It's because I killed her by accident. And now she's tricked me into doing these horrible things. She's finally had her revenge, I suppose. Andre Macias must have used the cipher to travel someplace far away from here. We haven't been able to trace him. The fire fades, and we are turning. Soon, there will be no one left, tending to the flames. There's no possibility that we are in fact, uh, Andras, or Andreas, or Andrea something like that, right? Flesh wall disinter disintegrates cutely. It does, doesn't it? Whoop, that's meaty. Missed that line of dialogue, unfortunately, but when needs must needs has, Great, another meter way torch. I suppose the guilt from my wife's death had made me come this far. I had hoped I had redeemed myself somehow. Okay, that confirms it. We are in fact uh, Andras, or and Andrea. Something like that, right? All this false hope of resurrection and ultimate power, it consumed Francis Harmon in the end. Well, oh, that sucks. That, that's absolutely sucky. Now I realize that there is no way of getting my wife back. This machine is corrupted. Right. That's probably not good, is it? What is this? Okay, I've already been in here. I just didn't recognize it without all of the, the flesh. So we're missing a torch in here because obviously there's still flesh all over the place. Is it down there? Yes, it is. Okay, gotta go this way. I didn't even see this door right here. It was well hidden. Okay, let's light that and get off the meat. So it should be good now, right? Wow, that was adorable, wasn't it? Do we turn this? Do we turn this crank? Okay, let's see what damage we've done upstairs then. I suppose. Kind of cool, actually, the story. We just ended up being the... The cause for our dead wife in the first place. Because that was my primary concern. I didn't care about the houses or their feud. The Shadow has lost the control of the Cypher, but only for a short while. Francis Harmon is coming for you. Enter through the portal. You have to trust us. Who's us? Francis? Francis? Okay, I'm going through the portal. Francis? Oh, that's Francis! Okay, so he's actually been chasing us this whole game. That's cool! That is a cool story. I do like that. So everything kind of tied in. To be continued? What? This is the end of the trilogy! That was a good one. I would probably rate that as my favorite one so far. That was pretty good. A lot more action oriented than puzzle oriented, gotta be said, other than the ones that we have already played, which have been very puzzle oriented. I'm not sure if I can use a lot of that music, so I'm gonna replace it maybe. I did a funny? That's, that's good to know. 
<laughs> is that because of the uh, is that because of the flesh wall disintegrates cutely thing? All of the uwu stuff. There are more sequels. Okay, I'll probably have to get to those. But I am out of uh, time for the stream. I have to go. I've got two missed calls from my girlfriend. I imagine she wants me to come and pick her up from work. So. Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist of Amnesia Custom Stories that I've made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description below, after you've hit the subscribe button, you'll find a link to my Discord where you can reach out to me and my community. And until I make the next episode, thank you so much for watching. And goodbye!